Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. Welcome guys. Oh my goodness, so many people popping in. Hello everyone. Um, how is everyone doing today? Uh, LOL Gaming, yes, I did know you could get tech uh, blueprints or buildings from pumpkins, which is amazing. Uh, not blueprints, buildings. So um, if we do see any, we will be picking them up tonight for sure because I could definitely use the tech for sure. Oh my goodness. Welcome, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out today, guys. And uh, actually, guys, today we do have some more giveaways. Um, again, Top Hat, uh, Eerie Candy, and the Bat Goyle. Uh, they gave us an extra set of codes. Uh, so we have an extra 10 codes to give away today. So it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Halloween is over officially for me, but uh, the Eerie event is still going on. So we're still going to keep celebrating today, I think, a little bit. Uh, Scott, Hale, how's it going, Scott? <laughs> Love that. Uh, welcome, everybody. Yes, Dragonwood, we are going to be taming all the Eeries. Maybe not every single Eerie we see, because that's a lot, but um, definitely quite a few is the plan. I already have one Griffin tamed up. Um, I do have stuff to tame more Griffins if we decide to tame a Griffin today. Definitely want to focus on some of the creatures that you can't get from dungeons. So I'm thinking potentially um, some eerie uh, water creatures and then maybe a couple of the harder to get eerie land creatures as well. SXK, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel. Um, hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Mariana, of course I remember you. Welcome back. How's it going? Alone, how's it going? Welcome. Oh my gosh. All right, let's actually go ahead and grab... Mm, kibble. Hey, Pixel. I love the Eerie uh, Procoptodon. They're actually one of my favorite Eerie creatures. They were one of the first Eerie creatures we were able to get on the game. And I still think they're one of the best looking. Alright, so I have these. Um, Good enough for me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why, wait. I need Biotoxin just in case. Just in case we actually find one. Whee! All right, so basically anything level 130 and up is kind of what I'm uh, on board to tame. So hopefully we find something. No griffin problem here. Nothing to see. Move along. Exactly. I don't have a griffin problem, Scott. I have the opposite of a griffin problem. Uh, having, having too few griffins is my problem. I actually do have too few griffins because I don't have a full mated pair of each set of griffins and I feel like that's necessary and I also still need some high level NA griffins which is a problem. Um, well there's a, a 130 right there. That 130 looks pretty good to me. I want to kill this other one. Okay, there we go. All right, let's lure this 130 up uh, right away. Found one. An MU Griffin. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no, no. Leave that Leave that alone. Come here. Get mad at me. Get mad at me. There you go. Come on. Is he on me? Finally? There we go. Yeah, come with me. We're going to go all the way up to the top here. Um, Owl, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Eerie Sarko turned out to look really cool. Uh, cool. I do love Eerie uh, Sarkos. Uh, Pixel Gun. Yes, I will end up going to the swamp at some point today. Lol, you think I got my griffin problem? You can't stop. It's so good, right? Uh, O'Neill. Yeah, there are no Eerie Unicorns. There are also no Eerie Eels. Those are the only two creatures that the devs could not make Eerie, sadly. But um, everything else we can get Eerie. Which is pretty cool. I'm thinking I want some eerie megalodons. That might be the way. Oh, what's this? Have fun taming. Oh. Oh. Someone already trapped one. Sweet. Okay, well, I gotta trap this guy. Oh, no, there's one down here. All right. Well, it looks like we have two. They're both occupied. Oof. Thanks, Killa. Um... All right. Sorry, I can try to... Uh... Nope, it's all good, Killa. Whichever one you want, go for. We can also put another trap up here, which we may have to do. Come here. 
I can knock this guy down in the world. It doesn't matter to me. If I could see him, that'd be great. Wait for him to, like, fly in front of me. Here, hold on. All right, that did not hit him at all. I really am having a hard time keeping track of him. Come here. I can't hit him like this. Uh, Cassie, um, will do. I have an AN that I tamed, an AN male, uh, but I'm looking for more. I'm basically taming any high level griffin that I find at this point. Because they're all good. Really? None of my darts are going to hit this guy. I'm going to have to actually land to hit this, which is the absolute worst. You're going to swirl around me? Come on. Seriously? Oh, finally. I hit him. It'll be a lot easier once he starts to run. There we go. I'll just tank him. I'll just tank him. Alright, almost got this one. Ah! Alright, we've almost got it. Almost got it. I feel like that one should have hit. Apologies, stream chat. Um, <laughs> yes, guys, I am on Toast Kingdom 2.0. How's it going? Lemons are good. Welcome. You are correct. Lemons are great. I like them as much or more than I like limes, in fact. Both of which I tend to like more than oranges. There we go. How do you get Eerie Griffin out of dungeon? Randy, uh, there is an event right now. Eerie creatures are available on the island. Um, if you want an eerie creature, this is the time to get one. Just log on to any multiplayer server. Um, if you're in single player, it doesn't work. But if you're on multiplayer, uh, this is the way. Um, Jan, how's it going? You want to make a vid hatching 300 gig eggs, like 600 eggs hatch? So many eggs as you want. Uh, Jan, I would love to make a, a video like that. Um, but I would prefer to use my own eggs and things. It does make it a little bit easier if it's, uh, things I can hatch myself rather than having to borrow them from someone else. Because then I have to coordinate timing, and that can be very difficult with how much I work currently. Um, ELG, my day's been pretty good, man. Oh, also, ELG, uh, the box you left out front is locked. And you're not in the tribe, so I can't open it right now. So if you could unlock it or pin code it for me and then send me the pin, that'd be great. Can I? There we go. Did that not count? There we go. Come down eventually. Exactly, Cassie. Kill all the low levels. Alright. Red Gamu is my baby. Oh, I hate the reload bug. Nihon, welcome. How's it going? Hope you guys are having great days. Doom Fox, you gotta go in 30 minutes. Also, you ate my toast. I'm sorry that you have to go, but no, don't eat my toast. It's my toast. Oh, he's running. Whoop. He, like, hitched a little. It was awkward. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wrong one. There we go. I don't know where you think you're going to go. I'll get you no matter what, buddy. Like, you're my griffin now, just so you know. Wow. Oh my gosh. Just enough hitches and leg. It's a little awkward trying to... Hey, uh... Trying, trying to get this last rank in him. I can't even speak today. Oop, there's a griffin flying really high in the sky. I should check that one out. Wow. 
Saw the blood. Didn't count. Cool. There we go. There it is. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Clear the area. Looks okay. Looks okay. We can also build some uh, spike walls just to be on the safe side, but looks like we're going to be all right. Uh, let's actually go ahead and do that. I don't think I have a hatchet on me. It's a little bit interesting. Um, make spike walls. Do I even have spike walls learned? I feel like I should. Yeah, spike walls. Open to crafting. Where are they? What do I need? Hide and wood. Uh, okay, wood's apparently gonna be a problem. Unless there's like a hatchet. No. Literally nothing. Super helpful. Okay. Well, it's a little bit difficult getting uh, wood this way. It's not ideal. <laughs> don't think it's gonna work. Uh, and I don't really want to leave him unprotected, even for a moment, but we'll make one wall anyway. Um, <laughs> what's my favorite anime? Uh, Goulage. Favorite anime would have to be probably Fairy Tale. Favorite of all time, anyway. Wish I had more of these spike walls, because I trust nothing. Don't want anything touching this guy. I'm just going to take his implant, just in case. And, uh... Keep him knocked out. I'm probably going to starve tame him a little bit, so I'm going to let him get a little bit hungry. Hi, Trike. You're cute. Oh, you're you're kind of trash, though. I hate to tell you. You're not very good. All right. Feel better. I see a scorpion. Let's go murder it. Stay off. Okay. Oh, hey, Transformational. How's it going? <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, the Savage Ninja. Yes, this is mobile. How's it going? Sana, how are you, Sana? I have missed you. Uh, Benjamin, do real griffins not eat raw meat? Benjamin, correct. Um, they eat uh, griffin kibble. Uh, the next most effective food is aloe kibble, but it's not very effective at all. They will eat raw meat, but they only get like 0.1% taming per meat. It's like really, really slow and it takes them forever to eat. So I don't recommend using meat if you can help it. Fairy tale is godly. It is. It's so good. I <laughs> uh, use the 10x bomb. Is as good as a 15x as well for you. Well, gaming. Nice, man. I tend to use 15Xs on griffins just because they do take so long. That little bit of extra time is well worth. No, no, no. Okay. Transformational's got it. Yeah. Ooh, a 130 ON. Nice. We need, like, higher levels. Because all I have found so far are basically lots and lots of, uh, Lots and lots of 130s and, like, no 150s, which is sad. Nihon, you found a max level your griff. Tame it, Nihon. Tame it. Moonlight Arc, no, you're not too late at all. Also, guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop the first code in the chat, um, the first giveaway code. Just a reminder, guys, these codes are for a top hat, uh, an eerie candy, and a bat goyle statue. So do enjoy that. Um, <laughs> Wolfstar, welcome. How's it going? Logan, you tried taming Griffin without bomb around me. It took forever. Yeah, Logan, I wouldn't even try it. I tamed a Griffin with a 10x bomb and uh, aloe kibble, and it took like five hours with a 150. It was insane. So I don't, re I don't recommend it. Um, always, always use Griffin kibble if you can. Tame the lowest level Griffins you can. Breed them to get Griffin kibble, and then, then go and tame your max level Griffins. Willow, what's up? Yes, thank you, Willow. Alright, we'll be able to build more spike walls now. Feel a little safer. Just 
gonna build myself a little bit of a shield for this guy. Ah, getting stuck. It's okay, I got this. Nice. Alright. Okay, I only have to watch, like, part of him now. Feels good. Feels safer, by far. Um. <laughs> let's see. You're so close to being able to save a griffin. You're level 84. Jimmy, you are so, so close. Uh, if you need to get that last level, man, I do recommend doing the uh, the trophy room pursuit. That is a really good pursuit to get you up that extra bump. Um, you can also consider doing the other pursuits because they do give you quite a bit of XP. Killing any alpha, killing rexes, and then um, if you're having trouble finding any of those things, my last recommendation, go into the ice cave and just kill yetis. Kill a lot of yetis. Or just rexes in the snow biome. That works as well. Um, any tips on getting level 75? You're level 72. Lol gaming. Of course. Uh, kill stuff. <laughs> it's a little bit rough, but um, I definitely recommend to level up killing high-level creatures, particularly ones that give you a lot of base XP like Rexes, is going to be the fastest way to get there. Um, also, killing any alpha is going to get you an insane amount of XP. So if you look for alpha raptors, uh, get your XP buffs and do that. That's the way. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Willow. Oh, I'm way done. I have to make these now. This is the way. Yeah, this is one very safe griffin. Okay. Now we only have one little hole. He is perfectly safe. And it's beautiful. All right, let's give him those. All right, I think he's still not hungry, but that's fine. I can give him his implant back now. Uh, let's go ahead and give him one kibble. Should only take one kibble. Yeah, he's nowhere near ready, but it's fine. Uh, Owen Wilson, how's it going? Sorry you're late, you're having school. No worries, Owen. I know how it goes, man. Um, I also know that the stream is not at the normal time that it usually is today because we did just enter daylight savings. So for some of you... Um, I may be streaming at a different time now, uh, cause daylight savings is a thing in the U.S. still. And, uh, we lost an hour, so, or gained an hour? I don't know exactly which way it works. I got an extra hour of sleep, that's all I know, and I loved it, so. <laughs> um, do the strong tribute pursuit. Yeah, anytime you do an artifact tribute, you should always get that pursuit done, um, because you get it. Doom Fox, you will redeem code, you swear. Doom Fox. The next code is dropping in like 10 minutes, so be ready, man. Uh, or 10 or 15 minutes. I'm kind of debating. I think I need to drop three an hour. I think I figured it out. Um, are all PvP servers eerie? Uh, Mariana, currently all official servers should be eerie. And then all of my servers are eerie. So every single server I host is eerie. Not all unofficials will probably have it on, but mine certainly do. Um... <laughs> Jimmy, you time to tickle chicken. Nice. Looks like the American flag. Ooh. I would actually be curious to see that, Jimmy. Not gonna lie. Have I killed a titan by myself? D Benjamin, yes, many times. Titans are good ways to get XP as well. Not as good as alphas, but they do okay. Especially in the low levels. If you tame one titan, if you tame, kill one titan, you're doing really well. Um, How do you find an eerie griffin? Haunted. They are on Far's Peak where the normal griffins spawn at this point in time. Uh, there is an event going on for Halloween that is just about over. So if you want to get an Eerie Griffin, now is the time to get one. If you're on an official server or if you're on my servers, uh, the Eerie Griffins are just on the map. So go to Far's Peak and you'll find them. Uh, oh, and yes, Eerie turrets are very good. They do less damage um, and they fire more slowly than a regular turret, but they don't need extra ammo. So you only need to put one bullet in them and they will fire forever. They are amazing. <laughs> Use your eerie turrets. They're very good. Sweet, Jimmy. I can't wait to see it. Um, Twitter's actually probably one of the best ways to get me to actually see something that you want to send me because it's uh, one of the easiest platforms for me to check stuff on. So I appreciate that, man. That is awesome. Um, people on the Facebook Marketplace are the sphere. 
Yeah, they can be. Um, you always got to be careful when you're dealing online. Zombie, am I able to get a colorful griffin in single player? Zombie, you can. It's just more difficult. Um, if you want to get an eerie griffin on single player, the best way to do that is to build yourself a, a kibble processor. That's what it is. A tech kibble processor. Ah! Hi, Willow. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Um, yeah, build yourself a tech kibble processor, find a high level griffin, kill it, take the implant, and then, uh, use the save option. Um, it's kind of a, a little bit of a cheat, but essentially you have like a one in 100 chance of turning an implant into a, uh, eerie implant every time that you use the, uh, kibble processor. So I would suggest doing that to make griffin kibble. I would use two cats kibble, make one griffin kibble. Save before you do it, and then just redo it until you turn it into an eerie griffin. Uh, it will take a little while, but um, I think I got it in 83 tries, so it's not the worst ever. I do recommend that. Why does the griffin change colors? Uh, Pippa, it is, uh, <laughs> it's an eerie griffin, and it's amazing. Um... Vincentius, where can you find an Alpha Rex? Uh, anywhere that a regular Rex spawns. They are very rare, though, so best of luck trying to find one. Best, best of luck. Oh, come on, Rad. Come on, Rad. I didn't even check to see if this was male or female. Oh, it's a female. That's even better. I didn't even realize. No, no, no. Ah! Why are you picking me up? Hi. This is an eerie NA Griffin. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. What's up, Yuke? <laughs> uh, is that an eerie Griffin? No, that's not an eerie Griffin. Got it. What's all this? Just dropping stuff in. Eh. Okay. Still good. Scared me a minute. Um, give me a list of creatures you think will come to Arc Mobile. King Louis. Um, that's a tricky one. I don't think there's a lot, uh, that will be coming, but I will say if there was any creature I could bring, I would bring the Avis. And I think the Avis would be one of the easiest creatures for them to bring to Mobile, um, because they're already a rare spawn. I think the Avis would be a really good addition, um, especially with mutton as a taming food. That would be really great. And, uh, yeah, I think Avis would be one of the best things they could bring to mobile. So I hope that they do. I don't think they have any plans to add more creatures at this point, but that would be, that would be the one I would want. ELG, um, <laughs> your nephew started an interview channel and you'll be on it in a few weeks. Um, ELG, send me a link. I'll see if I can make it, man, when it comes on. Libby, how's it going? Welcome. Is there such a thing as Eerie Noctis? Uh, no. I don't think there's an Eerie Noctis. I think the Noctis qualifies as a unicorn and doesn't have the Eerie effect, which is a big sad. Um, what's an Avis? So an Avis is a sheep. It's spelled O-V-I-S. Um, they're basically a little sheep that you can wander around. You can cut their hair to get wool. It kind of acts as a substitute for human hair, I guess. It's a little bit funky, but, um... That, and then they also, the main reason that people tame a lot of Avis is because they drop what's called mutton. And mutton is the best taming food in the PC art game if you're not making kibble. It's excellent. It's very, very good for taming. So making a mutton farm is the way to go. Uh, Diamond Doe, how's it going? Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. Yeah, it has been a while since you've been around. I'm super excited to see you. Game's gonna take forever. Asana, it doesn't take that long. We're already halfway done. It's not the worst. And we did it without a trap. So it's fine. I'm just excited. I'm gonna get Neary Griffin. We'll go tame something else after this. Maybe a... Maybe a water creature. We'll look for a water creature. We'll take the Baryonyx out. Is there an Alpha Celadon on Arc Mobile? Uh, no, Ghosty. I am not... We don't have any Celadons on the game, sadly. Um, Pop Fox King just says hamburger. Is that what you're having for dinner? 
uh jackson uh no this server is open um it's a patron only server so this particular server anyone can play on if they become a patron of the channel becoming a patron of the channel requires donating five dollars a month to the channel via the patreon website um to help keep servers running now if you can't do that if you can't donate i do have free servers that are available that anybody can join they're called iguana pve iguana pvp and toast district they're free you just hop on and start playing um they're well admined we have some pretty great admins on there and uh, all you have to do is join and if you're curious about any of that feel free to join the discord and ask questions for sure cassie oh no how did it die at least you got the implant but like how did it die gummy turst the same unicorn uh have done that once already uh if i find another unicorn i will 100 percent tame it because i love unicorns uh libby i've been fantastic um actually today's been a really good day uh especially since i slept in i got a lot of stuff done around my house and life irl things which is amazing and now we're taming all the eerie things got really lucky with a high level eerie griffin right away so like i'm really happy uh Sora, thank you so much i really appreciate that Light star i do remember you welcome back how's it going go tame an araneo they look awesome oh that's right we should tame an eerie araneo today guys i love araneo i definitely want an eerie spider baby we should do that we should definitely do that <laughs> i know it's silly but i love them so much um uh, where are my dogs alpha king uh one dog i always gotta check under the desk because sometimes she's there One dog is behind me, and I think the other one is on my couch in the other room. He likes to sleep in there. When are the codes released? The next code is dropping in about 10 minutes. We're dropping about three codes an hour, guys. Three codes an hour. Blade Star, do I still have to run three jobs? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of two, actually, um, because if you think about it, um, Twitch and YouTube are kind of similar jobs for me i consider them all under the heading of streaming and video making so that's one job and then i have my full-time uh day job which used to be part-time and is now full-time so i i dropped science and uh picked up hours at the part-time job and now i stream so it's it's still a lot <laughs> it's a lot of hours that i spend every week doing this but um you know it's okay it's good we're we're making it <laughs> Libby, you hate spiders. You're an arachnophobe. Oh, but spiders are so cute. And I mean that. I genuinely think spiders are cute. I know I'm weird. Have I ever smelled the inside of a leather shop? It smells fresh. Uh, Le Blues. I have, actually. It's been a long time since I've been in a leather shop, but I have smelt it, and I actually kind of like the smell of, like, cured leather. It's it's kind of nice. Just saying. Where do we redeem the codes? Uh, Double Childs, if you happen to get one of the codes, what you want to do is head to the in-game options um, under the extras menu, which you see here on the left, right here. There's a little support codes option right there. So I will tap on. Uh, you hit that, it brings up this entry right here. Um, you click on that, you enter the code. And then you hit either accept if you want it on the server or redeem in single player if you want it uh, on your single player game. So you can redeem these for either. They are only redeemable once, so you have to be really fast to get that code. I do suggest copy pasting it when I post it in the chat because that is the fastest way to do it. You just got to have really fast fingers. <laughs> Dragon Ninja, how's it going? Welcome. Um, <laughs> let's see... Try taming an eerie giga to find a giga. Easy is the giga hunt to find a giga. Uh, Jan, actually that's not a bad idea because you can't really get eerie gigas any other way. So I might do a quick um, scope around and see if I can't spot one because I would totally tame an eerie giga. Oh, bro, touched a spider as big as your hand. I didn't run. He was like, cool. <laughs> Good, Logan. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, I don't know that I want spiders crawling on me, but, like, when they're just in the house chilling, like, I don't mind them crawling on the ceiling, in the corners. Like, they don't bother me like they bother some people. And uh, I actually do think certain species are actually adorable. Peacock spiders, in particular, are super cute. Oh, my God. I love them. Um, 
got the first go. Congratulations, Joseph. That's awesome. I uh, thank you so much, ELG. I do appreciate that. Cyberpunk, what's the server name? It's called Toast Kingdom 2.0. All right, let's give this guy a little bit more biotoxin just to be on the safe side. Should be okay. He should tame up with one uh, kibble too. Actually, you know what? Might be a good idea to be stupid safe is uh, grab that. I'm actually gonna just clear out my inventory a little while I'm here. Eh, drop fewer stacks. I have a lot of spoiled meat on this guy that I do not need. I just don't. I just don't. Much better. Alright, buddy. Are you gonna be done anytime soon? Because you look amazing. I really like you, but I really want you to tame faster. She is super cute. I am stoked about this, Griffin. Uh, a friend has a pink knee tarantula. It's really cool. Oh, they're so cute. Tarantulas are just like fuzzy babies. They're not even mean. They're so docile. It's amazing. <laughs> Sana, you missed Willow too. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are awesome. Uh, Jimmy, you sent me a picture of the theory on the tweet just six days ago. Thank you, Jimmy. I will go check that out. I need to post more on Twitter, don't I, guys? What kind of things would you guys want me to post on Twitter? For those of you, for those few of you probably who are following me. What would you like to see? Selfies, dog pictures, tames in-game, game updates. What sorts of stuff? I'm looking to get my social media presence a little bit more frequent. <laughs> what items can you get from the codes? Uh, paged. So the items that the codes drop are a top hat skin, which is partner exclusive. You can only get it by when it, getting one of these codes redeemed. Um, the eerie candy and then a Batgoyle statue. So they are Halloween themed. Um, I did get them actually last week, but I decided to wait until today's stream to drop them because it's the easiest way for me to drop them, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doggo Gaming, yes. After Halloween event, it is definitely mutation time. <laughs> game updates. Tame and game updates. Posts about my life. All sorts of things, huh? Dog pics. <laughs> Jackson's really excited about the dog pics. I do post a lot. Jackson, if you have an Instagram, I post a lot of dog pictures on Instagram. That's mostly what my Instagram is. Um, so definitely check that out as well. Uh, Renee, I think old Ben was online. I'm not 100% sure. Everything, Cute Fairy knows. Libby, I could post fan art. Oh, that's a good idea. When people send fan art my way, I could repost it. I like that. Super top hat. Top hats are amazing. <laughs> um, Ninja, would I hire an editor to make my vids? Um, Ninja, no. I have a, I have a really, I don't know, specific idea of what I want my videos to be. And, um, I don't, I'm not super comfortable passing it off to other people to, to complete like that. Um, the most that I've done is I do have somebody else who makes my PC thumbnails now, um, Evolution Games. You guys should definitely check him out, by the way. He's amazing. Um, but he does make a lot of the thumbnails for my PC series now, uh, which is super helpful because he takes amazing in-game photos, much better than mine. But that's like the most amount of control I give up over my channel is just the, the thumbnails for my PC videos. <laughs> I'm going to check out the theory uh, on stream. Uh, Jimmy, you probably can't do it on stream, but um, definitely will look at it when I can, which would be shortly after stream. Are there griffins on PC? Alpha King, yes, on the Ragnarok map, but they're not as good as the mobile griffins. You can't breed them. They are actually a little bit broken, so they stutter. Um, their stats are not great. Like, they're really not very good. Um... Paul, your science homework is too much for you to handle. Paul, what kind of science is it? Uh, post about it on my Discord. I actually am a scientist, and I know there's a lot of science enthusiasts in my community, so we could definitely help you out. Do I have an official account on social media? Lance, yes. Um, I do have official Twitters and Instagrams that you are welcome to follow. I also have a Twitch channel if you would like to see more of my streams. I stream on there during the week. 
Um, ELG found a mod where they make Lystros into actual iguanas. I did see that one, ELG. I was looking for it the other day and couldn't find it. Skull, of course I remember you. Um, Jackson, Discord link is in the video description down below. And this griffin is finally almost up, guys. Finally. It has been way too long. Uh, <laughs> hello, you're learning about cells right now? Well, oh, yeah, if you have specific questions uh, or you're confused about specific things, I can definitely help you out. Cell bio is not my major strong point, but I do know enough about it that I could help you. Um, much more familiar with DNA and what's in the nucleus. Um, <laughs> John, I'm doing really good today. How's it going? John Doe, hi. Force and motion, but you're good at understanding it, but it's a ton of homework. Oof, Paul, yeah, physics. It's a little rough, man. I get it. Please say, hey, Reaper. Hey, Reaper! How's it going, man? Welcome. Finally! Aw. Rad did amazing. I forgot to give it the meat. But it's okay, because it was an insta-tame, which is my favorite. Um, actually... Came out with some decent stats. Not the best, uh, but definitely not bad. There we go. Pixel, you finally found us. <laughs> Just as we're about to leave. <laughs> uh, Strum says, can you solve math? Uh, Strum, depending on the math, yeah. Um, if it's super complicated, I will need to like sit down for a minute. It's been a while since I've taken any real math. I'm much more comfortable with like... Um, I don't even know, like dilutions and things like that. Simple equations, uh, stuff like that. I'm not like a, a mathematician, but I, I do enough math to get me by in the science that I do, basically. What field of science am I in? Uh, Jimmy, so uh, technically I'm a, a biologist, very broadly speaking, but um, my study of focus is uh, genomics and genetics. So I know a lot about conservation genetics, and uh, I know a lot about evolutionary genomics. Those are kind of the fields that I'm in. So a lot of DNA. <laughs> Ivy, how's it going? Uh, to make my griffin look cool, get potent dust diet and dye his wings, it looks amazing. Uh, Ivy, yes, I did know that trick. Um, I do actually love that trick. I don't know that I'm going to do that with these guys yet, because I am going to use them for breeding. Oh my god, I... I don't know where to put this griffin. Here, I'll line up my eerie griffin conquests over here. I have two of them. Willow, I do like your griffin. It's very pretty. I have two eerie griffins that I've tamed here. <laughs> I, I don't have a griffin problem. It's not a thing. Doesn't exist. Um... Do I know what's the best place to spawn? Uh, Cyberpunk South 2 is probably the best place to spawn, especially if you are low level and you're looking to level up fast. That's definitely the way to go. There's a lot of notes in that area, and you're really close to the cave in the south, which you can stick your head in to get some good XP. Uh, it's really easy to get the beginning pursuits done down there as well, so that's the way. Um, Jimmy, no wonder I like dinos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go clear out the griffin that I saw way up in the sky. Where is he? No, oh, that's a tap. Hello, Tappy. Oh, you're a 1 in 35? I feel a little bad. Oh, it's over here. I found it! This is a, a griffin that escaped. You're not even eerie. Get out of here. I have to murder it. I have to murder it. Have to murder it. There we go. Only Eeries. Oh, hello, Aloe. What level are you? 25? You're trash? I'm gonna kill you? Okay. What sorts of eerie creatures do we want, guys? Code time. You are correct, actually, Luke. You know better than I do. Um, oops, sorry. Code's freaking out. Cable was not happy. Uh, okay. You're correct. It is code time. Second code coming up, guys. All right. Um, can I do some Crystal Isles gameplay? Uh, Demonic, it is coming. <laughs> so 
I'm currently working on a cross arc series, uh, which I am playing through all of the maps on, all nine officially available maps. So we will be hitting Crystal Isles on there at some point. I'm not sure exactly when, um, but I'm really excited about it. <laughs> CDJ, how's it going? Should have been born pretty. Exactly, CDJ. If it wanted to live, it should have been born eerie and a much higher level, to be perfectly honest. Can we not be stupid? There we go. What's happening up here? Oh, you got it. Congratulations. It's a pretty one. Pixel, yes, you should absolutely eat the unicorn poop. It's a good time. All right, so we have some clear traps. Uh, they're empty, so if we find another high level, we're good. Um, is this not gonna come back on? What do you mean format not supported? Hold on, guys. It's being annoying. Oh, it's being super annoying. Please work. Oh my gosh, I hate when my capture card gets like this. I know, guys. I know you can't see. Uh love that mm. hold up guys aha nope this yes Oh, I fixed it. It's amazing. It's a minor miracle. I made it work. Um, PM, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> this is obviously she's a professional. Listen, sometimes the tech gets you and it gets really mad. Like this, these cables are insane, guys. I know you can't really see this, but like this is my setup. I have two cables feeding into another cable feeding into my phone. And that's only this end. <laughs> it doesn't see the other end. So it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff going on to make these streams possible. Um, hi, Culpi. I have a dog. Uh, <laughs> why was their format not supported? Logan, uh, the cables just got mad. What does the code do to your server? Ronald, if you enter the code, uh, you get the items that I'm giving away. So it's good stuff, man. You should definitely try to get one of those. They only work once. Um... see uh tame an eerie griffin uh thunder coach we just did but i will tame another one if i find another one because i have two more super griffin kibble and i can easily make four more so if i find another high level hey you're level 10 get out of here i love your wings but you're only level 10 120 it's not high enough i only tame 130 and up Normally, I only tame 135 and up, but I make exceptions for Eeries. Although that was an ON, I feel a little bad. Cassie might have wanted that. I should have asked. So sorry. Uh, Big Worm, you got the last code. Congratulations. Um, Coffee, is this the last day for Eeries? I don't think so. But it's really close. I think the Eerie event goes to tomorrow? I think it might be the last day. I would definitely go and tame the Eerie's if you haven't already, just to be on the safe side. Um, all right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and see what other Eerie creatures do we want. Do we want some Eerie water tames, you think? These are always kind of hard to get. If we're going to do that, I'm going to put away the Kibble and take out my Baryonyx. There we go. Maybe put this stuff somewhere. Drop it in one of the chests. What's my cooked meat? Cool. Beautiful. Pumpkin hunting time. Nice, Willow. All right, let's go grab. Eh. Pumpkins are actually the way. I hate that my windows keep breaking. It's making me mad. Would really appreciate it if my windows could just not break when stuff attacks. Event ends Tuesday at 11 a.m. All right. So that's right about the same time that dungeons roll around. So big sad. Uh, is there any way to find max levels easily? No, my dear. Just keep looking. 
That's honestly all there is to it. All right, so we've got Frigga. Um, let's see. Frigga, I've got my Baryonyx friend right here who needs a saddle. I don't know if I have a saddle for the Baryonyx. What happened here? What on earth? Why? Why did these break? What attacked? What happened? Hey, thank you, Bo. Let's open that. Ooh. Well, I like that. The Dura is terrible. The durability is like literally 300 on those, but the armor's high. Um. <laughs> okay, so I'll fix all the windows later. Essentially what I need here is I need a Baryonyx saddle. That's what I was looking for. Baryonyx saddle. There we go. Craft me one of these. Mm -hmm. Bye, Ronald. Thank you so much for hanging out. What's the server pass? Cyberpunk. Um, this is a patron-only server. If you would like to join the server, you'll have to become a patron. I don't like that this keeps cutting out. It's making me mad. I need, like, duct tape to hold everything in place. It's actually a problem. All right. Get a saddle on the Baryonyx. So not red. Baryonyx. There we go. There we go. All right. And we can look for pumpkins while we're out as well. Strong Halloween theme today. Whee! All right. Let's head over to the Swamp Castle and see what we can find. Look for pumpkins along the way, because why not? I actually haven't seen any pumpkins yet. I haven't been playing much this week, sadly. Um, Griffin's eat Griffin Kibble. Does that make them cannibals? Jimmy. Uh, sort of, yes. Sort of. Um, I do random stuff. Why do you make servers? Uh, so that people can play the game. And have fun. And enjoy. You know, it's hard to get eerie parasers. Maybe I want an eerie paraser. How is 300 durability low? Logan, because I'm used to using things that have over a thousand dura. So 300 dura is super low compared to that. All right, we'll take it to my half done uh, base here. This, uh, this snake is gonna get eaten. Tasty, tasty. All right, Frigga should be okay. Let's grab the Baryonyx. Okay, I did not bring a scuba tank. I should check. I probably have one on Frigga, actually. Probably have one. Uh, bye, I do random stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out. See you next stream. Willing to bet I have one? I do indeed. Look at that. Also take a spare bow, just in case. Um, and some extra trank arrows, because literally very, very difficult. Ah, uh, hi, piranhas. We'll just... Eat all of the fish. Ah, uh, hi, Barry. It's only a level 30, though. Yeah. What level was it, Willa? Ooh, hello, Baryonyx. What level are you? Aw, I did that first. That's cheating. Ah, you cheater. I stunned you first. Oh, there's two of them, that's why. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, real quick, just do that. There. Now we can breathe. Eat some mushrooms underwater, because that makes sense. Uh, what are my favorite dinos? Olivia, my favorite dinos are probably the Iguanodon and the Carnotaurus. Um, they're very, very cute. Stone Reaper, welcome. How's it going? 
What's up? Uh, not too much, man. We just tamed an eerie griffin. Um, looking for some eerie water tames. We're a little slow because we're wearing, using a baryonyx, but um, that's okay. Should be good enough. Unfortunately, being underwater is super stressful on my phone. But we'll look for stuff. Let's see what we can find. I don't see anything. Like, right by the swamp, so I know there's a cave down here and all. We can flee there if we need to. I don't want to mess with any eels. I gotta be really careful not to aggro any eels. Eels would be bad. Pretty much everything else is okay, though. Um... Rihanna, how do you make a server? Um, so to make a server, you have to rent one. They do cost money to to rent. Um, but you can make them by going to Natrato. Uh, Natrato's website. And on Natrato, it will give you instructions on how to set it up. I saw a critter over here. There's some angler fishies. It's all good. Brandon, thank you so, so much for... <laughs> oh my gosh, stage check. Thank you so, so much for the super chat, man. Told you I would make it. Love the black and purple RG and oof on the Rex fail. Don't have friends while they sleep. I know, stage. That was a big oof, but at least we got the second one, right? Um, and I'm really proud of the 180 aloe, actually. I'm probably most excited about that 180 aloe, but hey, it was a successful taming day, at least. And thank you so much for the super chat again, man. Super happy to see you, Stage. I hope you're having a fantastic night. Um, you went MIA for a while. What did I miss? Uh, Pippa, not too much. We tamed up the Eerie Griff, and we're currently on a Baryonyx looking for Eerie underwater tames. Although I'm not seeing anything worth taming yet. Just a few. Um, don't do that. There's just a few anglerfish. But, like, nothing particularly interesting. Some ammonites. Hi, Kopi. You want to be under my desk? Is that what's happening? Um. Hey, dog. <laughs> I have a puppy. She's very cute. She wants pets. Uh, bye, Gare. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have fun playing Raft. That is a great game. I actually need to play that again. To go, but before I do, where do I get a good compound bow? Jimmy, if you want a good compound bow, run the ice cave and tribute the artifact. You will get a ton of compound bows in very short order if you do that. They're very good. I might give this up soon and go tame an Eerie Araneo if I don't find something good. Ooh, Eerie Iguanodons should be on my list. Oh my gosh. So many things I need. There's just nothing. There's just literally nothing here. Copy. Um. Yeah, I'm actually upset by how few creatures I'm finding. Is that so hard when Iggy got stuck in the stratosphere with the Ascendant Spino? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I was really sad because I was so excited that I hadn't hit the ceiling when I was jumping around. And then I was admiring the Spino's tail waving in the screen and then just boom, I hit the ceiling and it died. Um, when's the next community stream? Low gaming. That's a great question, actually. It should be soon. It should be soon. I don't know when exactly I'm planning on doing that, but, um, I will... I will figure out when I can do that and let you guys know. That will have to be a thing very soon. I will also have to drop another code very soon. Are there literally just no tames? Like, not even a Megalodon? Like, literally nothing. Just anglerfish everywhere. Hey, buddy. I mean, you're pretty, but, like, you're an anglerfish. Come here. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I missed. Got him. Got him. Now if I find a manta, I can tame it? Maybe. Um. <laughs> you repeat your server again. It's called Toast Kingdom 2.0. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. What is that thing? A Megalodon level 45. It's not very good. I was hoping to find high levels, but that's the first shark I've seen. I'm a big sad. Plessy, I know, right? I would love to see a Plessy. Literally anything. There's a frog here and a Megalodon. And some eels down there that I'm not going to mess with because eels. Eh. Missed. Eh. Hi, fishy. It's also very hard to hit underwater. There we go. Eh. Come here, shark. Come here. Come here. I gotcha. Alright. Oh, a Plessy! What level are you? 35. That's kind of trash, not gonna lie. You make me sad? You tried? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Plessy makes me sad, but at least we finally found something eerie. I'm looking for higher levels. I really am. Um, Jess, thank you so much for the super chat. You got a pair of eerie griffs on PvE. So excited. Hoping for a giga somehow. What about grabbing some ice cave wolves? Uh, Jess, that is actually a great idea to get some really high level ice cave wolves. Actually a fantastic idea. Um, I might grab the implants for those. Because that would be an easy tame and very, very useful. Get some high-level Eeries. Eh. Come here. There we go. <laughs> Karanthi says super gameplay. Eh. <laughs> John, you're playing Arc Nation right now and loving it? It is so good, right? Yes, Yeti Cave, also called the Ice Cave for um, compound blow, compound bows. I can't talk. Elizabeth, how's it going? Um, you only like jumping spiders? Jumping spiders are so cute. You know, this is a Dunkley. It's only a little dirty. I don't want it. Oh, you're going to be a problem too? Look, I can stun a Dunkley. Good night. 6186 pixel? Okay. There's a Moza at 6186. I don't know that I'm big enough to tame that, but I will definitely give it a shot. Dang, Dunkley's in their armor. They got silly smiles, too. It's kind of adorable, though. Let's be honest. Yeah. Alright, 6186. I gotta get there. Come here. You know what? You keep, like, being not in the line of my stun. There we go. Yeah. Munch. Ah. Okay, I'll get it eventually. All right, 6186. Where is 6186? Oh, well, he's running. Um. Ah, wrong. Okay, so we need to go down that way. 6186. Okay, so that's just south uh, quite a ways. So let's go ahead and head down that way. There's a Moza. I'm excited. Let's do it. Dynamic Wolf, I do remember you. How's it going, man? <laughs> Even a low-level Mosa is good, so if we can get a Mosa, I'd be happy, no matter what level it is. Dunkley is very slow. Dunkles, they're pretty slow, but they're faster than Baryonyx. Baryonyx are great. Amphibious Tames, they're not so great for being in the ocean constantly. Um, they're actually kind of weak in the actual ocean. I prefer Basilos by far, but Basilos are a pain. Big pain to get. I should have smudged. CDJ, you are correct. I should have. Keep him from wandering. Um, why it's Monday? You're at work right now? Alright, Zoro. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic day. 
So sorry. It is Sunday night for me, so it does make it tough. All right, we're getting close. Ish. We'll get there. We'll get there. You're on a dolphin pixel. Nice. Thank you so much for staying with it. I should be able to find you. Do you have a collar on the dolphin? That would make it easier. It's a level 20. Okay, I'll still tame it. A level 20 most is better than nothing by far. RK, welcome. How's it going? Did I miss your chat? Sorry, RK. Um, it gets busy, man. <laughs> it does get busy. Sana, the clothes I'm wearing are so pretty. Thank you, Sana. The, the shirt? I like it. It's one of my favorites. And the necklace. Um, yeah. fastest creature in the ocean is the dolphin and the mosa. This is true. Tusas are pretty quick, too. Actually. Tell you what, I will happily take that level mosa. Alright, 61, 63, somewhere down there. He's south and headed south. Let's keep going. Gotta go around the rock formations. Almost out of Stam. My goodness. Ah. They also don't ascend and descend very quickly. They're quite slow, Baryonyx are. They're pretty powerful um, in shallow water. They're not so great in deep, deep water. 6387. Alright, I'm headed there. I'm going to get there. It's going to take me a minute. Almost out of stam, but I've got this. Joanne, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, RK, no, you can absolutely call me the big sis. I do not mind at all. I've had people call me like both better and worse things, so it's fine. I need some stam. How tall am I? I'm 5'5", five five, Horsa. Sirwa, sorry. I said it wrong. Sirwa. <laughs> um... Let's see. You're starting YouTube. Any advice? Big room. Uh, absolutely. Consistency is key, especially when you're first getting started. Make a schedule. Even if you can only get one video out a week, make that schedule and stick to it. Release that video at the same time every time you do it. And uh, people will know when to expect your videos and you will get more people coming to watch. It is a very, very good idea to make a schedule. Um, I say that struggling with it myself sometimes, but it is definitely the way. Oh, look at the Mosa. Look at the Mosa. Is that not eerie? It's not eerie. I I don't have a dolphin. This isn't eerie either. Apparently we haven't gone and killed a lot of underwater creatures. I'm a big sad. That's not eerie. We should kill that. I like Mosas, but want eeries. Do we tame it anyway? I mean, it is a Mosa, but it's not Eerie. Maybe a she. Okay. Also, that thing will probably murder me. Cassie, you got the 130 down. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Just mosey our way on over here. Um, just joined. What did you miss? The best. Uh, we tamed an eerie griffin, and we've been searching the ocean for eerie critters. There's a mosa here that's level 20, but it's not eerie. I'm like this angler that is gonna try to take a bike out of me. I will stun you, sir. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, let's see. Level up the berry for speed. It's actually probably a good idea. Not gonna lie. There we go. You're 5'10". CDJ, oh my gosh, you're so tall. I'm so... I'm like average height, guys. I'm not short. I'm just average height. 5'5 five five is normal, I promise. Garson, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel, man. Do you have any advice on how you can level up faster? Uh, Sirwa, get your XP boosts and use them. They are very, very helpful. Um, what's the giveaway? Actually, that's a good question. Uh, there should be another giveaway. 
actually very soon. Um, did I miss one? I might have missed a code. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like late for the next code, guys. Thank you for reminding me. Code's gonna get dropped here in a second. Um, so giveaways are for a top hat skin, eerie candy, and a bat goyle statue. <laughs> Five one, nice. Four point oh two, Celia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now I feel tall. Thank you guys. Um <laughs> What's the giveaway? I already answered that. Alright guys, do we tame this Mosa or do we not? I need uh tell me yes or no in the chat. Also there's your code. Good luck. The best. Six foot two. That is the best height. I'm not gonna lie. I think that is the best height for people. Uh Nova, it's March your sixteenth birthday. Happy early birthday, uh Liquid. That is amazing, man. Congratulations. Sixteen's a big deal. Oh my goodness. Is the Eerie's gonna stay or are they gonna disappear for a while? The Wilderbeast, when the event ends, the Eerie's will disappear. So I do want to get them uh, sooner rather than later. Yes, yes, tame it. Okay. Yeah, and you're pretty young. Good, that means you have time to grow. It's okay. Don't stress it. Alright, we're gonna go bug this Mosa. Um, actually, I can level up. Let's do that. Do I have a collar I can put on you? We'll give us some extra armor, just in case we get bit. I don't think I have enough tranks, is the thing. Oh, scary! Oh, scary! Oh no, he's gonna bite me! Oh, I'm scared. Oh, he makes me nervous. Hi, buddy. Okay, that did not hit at all. I forget how close you have to be when you're underwater, and I don't have fins or anything, so this is painful. Ah! Oh, he didn't hurt so bad. He didn't hurt too bad. Okay, I'm not so scared. Can you, like, hold still? That's not holding still, sir. He's only level 20, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Eh. Wait for him to, like, circle... There. That should've worked. That one worked. Ah! Right into his jaws. Alright, wait for him to circle. He'll de-aggro if we go above the height line. This one. Eh. Can't quite turn around fast enough. There we go. That should have hit two. Draw my bow. Come here, buddy. Problem is, he's so fast. If I don't knock him out right away, he's gonna run, and I don't know that I'm gonna be able to catch him since I'm not on a dolphin. Can we turn around? That'd be great. I also don't know how to check how much torpor he has. Mmm without hopping off, which does not seem like a safe solution. How did that not hit? I know the drop-off underwater is insane, but like, come on. Oh, are you like, derping? Are you running? How did that not hit? Game, please! Oh, 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 put that away. Ah! Wait, did I really seriously just take a bite of him after I put my stuff away? Stop biting him! Oh my god, I ruined it. Oh well. 
He's only a level 20. Could be worse. Um, only level 20. Okay. It is what it is. What a pretty boy. Uh, I have, like, zero food for him, to be perfectly honest. Lots of biotoxin, though. Oh, I have prime. Didn't even realize. This works. I think a uh, fish me and regular me and basically whatever he wants to eat is fine by me. Here, buddy. He wants a prime. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and get a balm. Nah, it's not worth that much. It ain't worth that much. Just to make it go faster. Okay, whatever you prefer, you can have. Give you a little bit of biotoxin. Keep you down. How we doing? Okay, it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a long minute. Wish I had 10x bombs really bad right now. Um, <laughs> rip the extra levels, right, Neon? It super sucks. That's what happens when your screen decides to be derpy. It's all right. At least we're gonna have a Moza. Pretty happy about having a Moza. Even a low-level Moza is stupid OP, so it's gonna be fine. I'm still excited. It's still something. I'm sad he's not eerie, but at least he's pretty. It's kind of like that beautiful bronze color. I do like it. Look at him. He looks happy. He's got a big smile on. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I was using drink arrows. I wasn't trying to kill him. I was trying to knock him out. Uh, related stuff. Welcome, how's it going? And Parag, YouTube, how's it going? Welcome. Titan the Doggo, welcome. What's up? <laughs> Erimosa. I wish no Ear. I'm looking for an Erimosa. Um, I'm taming this guy so that we'll be quicker getting around. Although, I won't be able to pull out weapons on the back, which is probably kind of a pain. But it'll be quicker getting around on a Mosa than on a Baryonyx, for sure. Um, so we'll take him back up by the Swamp Castle, and, uh, we'll keep him up there. I'll make a saddle. It'll be a whole thing. Um, do I have a platform saddle? ELG, no, but I don't really need one. Make a base, please. Uh, Vinodama, I, I have two bases, actually. I have a, a Swamp base, and then I have a Inland base by Far's Peak. Both of which are going to be pretty good. The swamp base isn't finished yet, but it is going to be where I store most of my water tames. Do I have all the explore notes? Uh, no. I don't really bother with the explore notes very much. Um, they're great XP boosts, but beyond that, I don't see the point in having too many of them. I need to just smudge him and chuck his coral, right, CDJ? Smudge him and throw his coral out on the front lawn. Um... Uh, Dragon Eyed, hello, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Uh, Joseph, you're still here. Good, man, I'm glad that you guys are still here. At least we are getting some water tames. I'm sad this one's not eerie, but maybe we'll find one later. We'll keep looking, guys. We're not done finding eeries. Debest, how do you go live on YouTube? You know how to go live on Twitch, but no YouTube. Debest, uh, there is an option that says go live. You click on that, and then there's a bunch of options that you can set, um, for your live stream you do have to make a thumbnail for it and you do have to set up all of the um different streaming options but uh it's not too hard as long as you're on the studio page uh there is a little option that says go live that's the one you want to click on i know you like my art map in the background thank you man i love my art map it's amazing i need to take down all my halloween decorations makes me sad i have like a spider on the otter back there you guys can't see it but it's really cute <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, exploring for you. Welcome, man. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Not even double digits in your four for two. Celia, you are going to be uh, so tall. And I'm jealous. You're going to be much taller than I am. <laughs> Fireplays, what loot do the pumpkin drops have? Uh, Fireplays, it varies a lot. They can have regular structures like gravestones. They can have skins. They can have amber. They can have eerie candy is pretty common. And then they can also have tech buildings, uh, which is really cool. So they can have different tech pieces that you can use. Very, very useful. Do recommend getting the pumpkins. In fact, I might go hunt some pumpkins. 
pumpkins today. I can't talk today. The tongue is just too thick for the mouth. It's a whole thing. Uh, <laughs> what's my relationship with Schwab? Is she your friend or sister? Uh, she is my friend for sure. Schwab is amazing. Uh, very, very talented YouTuber, obviously. And yeah, um, no, uh, she's not my sister, although that would be cool too. But, uh, my sister is a very different person. <laughs> my sister does not YouTube. Um... Your goal is to stay out stream. Joseph, I would be thrilled if you could, man. That'd be amazing. Dark boy, you're going to vomit for that? For what? What did I do? What did I do? Uh, Crush Jack, how's it going? Gwana still watching every live and record. Thank you so much, Crush Jack. You are awesome. Oh my goodness. You are amazing, man. Thank you so, so much. Uh, RK, near red, green, and redwood unicorn spawn. Nice, RK. Unicorns are the best, man. Definitely get you some. Alright, this guy is taming up slowly. I'm gonna do that. Let's give him some more biotoxin. Keep him down. He's gonna tame even more slowly. I need some prime meat down here. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be able to get any more prime meat, unfortunately. I could probably put my chef station down. But I don't know that that's going to be easy. Aslan says, hello, Gwana. I love you. Thank you, Aslan. Welcome. It's going to vomit, okay? Okay, Dark Lord. That's okay. You do you, man. <laughs> Words are just difficult sometimes. They are, Scott. It's true. Um, ELG, code in about 30 seconds, man. 30 seconds animated thank you i really appreciate that man um you sort of new but kind of bench some of the videos when you're high enough should you leave your tribe uh animated if you are happy with your tribe if you feel like they're treating you well and you're getting a lot out of being in that tribe by all means stay in the tribe um if you would rather play solo then yeah go ahead and leave there's no big deal man uh, i would try to make sure that if you've tamed anything um you make sure that your tribe settings are set up so that you can take it with you because um a lot of tribe settings are set to tribe owned and then you will lose all your dinos when you leave the tribe so i just would talk to your tribe mates about what you want to do and make sure that um hopefully you can take all your stuff with you when you go drive one welcome how's it going <laughs> is there an easy way to find unicorns uh nanya look for white things <laughs> that's that's really what it is. Hi, Kopi. What? 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 I have a dog. She's bugging me. I see you. I see you. Okay. You're gonna make me drop my game. What? What? What's happening? Okay. 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 I see. Yeah, thanks for the headphone knock. Okay. Where's my horn? Um, who else is here since 30k subs? Titan, oh my gosh, you've been here a while. Stupidity, of course I remember you. Welcome back. PJ, what happened? You just joined. PJ, we have knocked a Mosa and we are taming it. Pretty amazing. I'm hoping we can get it tamed. It's a very, very low level, but, um, we're working on it. Unfortunately, I did run out of prime. So this is going to be a slow tame from here on out. Doggo, yes. She very much wanted attention. <laughs> what time is it at my place? It is currently 7.20. The uh, the time did just change, so it technically should be 8.20, but it's actually 7.20. It's amazing. Um, when will I collab with Schwab again? I don't know, Dragon Eyed. Um, we did have a game that I was going to try to join, but um, it's been very difficult for me lately to collab with people just based on how much time I've spent uh, working lately. Because I did go full-time at a job quite a few months ago, and it's definitely made a big impact on how much um, free time I have to record and stream, which is a big sad, actually. I'm not very happy with how busy I am, but there's only so much you can do. Stay unconscious? Oh, boy. Well, whatever, uh, whatever progress we were making is going to quickly go away. 
Osmosis are a long pain. Oh my god. I need prime. I really need prime. It's gonna take a minute. Um, no worries, Tabez. Thank you so much for hanging out. Crash Mosa, but it's still Mosa. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it's not good, but it will do the trick. It will get me around, it will be fast, and it will still beat stuff up because even a low level Mosa is stupid powerful. Um, Riaz, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you, Riaz. Are eerie creatures on all of your free servers? Yes, stupidity. I turned on eerie creature spawns on every single one of my servers, so all of my servers, patron and free, have eerie creature spawns. Um, I need 39 raw prime meat or a Kessel Kibble. ELG, thank you. Kessel Kibble. Let me see. Oh no, it's cold. Where's the Quetzal? There it is. Quetzal kibble. I should have done this right away. I'm tired of waiting. I'm really tired of waiting. Let's see what the Quetzal kibble does to it. Um, yeah, I see you forgot to sub. Oof. Hit that sub button now, man. Uh, where you are, it's 11.21. Uh, Riaz, nice, man. That's pretty late. Is that p.m. or a.m.? I hope p.m. I feel like it should be p.m., but I don't know. Grayson, how's it going? Um, oh, Grayson. I'm sorry you've been having a horrible day, man. I've definitely been there, and I'm really glad that watching the stream and videos cheers you up, man. I will definitely keep it up, and I will definitely keep up the positivity. That's what we are about here. Good times. <laughs> uh, most of the turret, right? Um, Alyssa, are eerie creatures going to be on single player? Alyssa, uh, no, sadly. They can't bring the eerie creatures to single player, but you can still get eerie creatures by running dungeons on single player, which... On single player, it's quite easy to run a dungeon, by the way. Um, really easy to, to run them and to redo pieces if you messed up. Um, I do recommend if you're going to learn dungeons, you learn them on single player. Paying effectiveness is six. Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> uh, ELG, I know, right? Uh, 67k subs coming real soon. I'm so excited, guys. We're going to hit 70 in no time. I I can't believe how many subs we have on the channel, actually. It's, it blows me away. Um, one more. One more cat skibble. And then we good. Uh, give me back my biotoxin. You don't need it. Okay. I'm excited for a Mosa. Even if it's not eerie. Right? Right, Kleonski? So much time later. At least I finally got the Kessel Kibble out. It won't take that much longer. We've almost got it. This will be it. This is the last one. Um, Snipe says, OMG, I've never seen your face. Well, Snipe, now you have. Welcome, man. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, definitely, if you haven't seen my face up until now, check out my face reveal video, man. It was a fun one. Eh, hi, Kopi. I see you. You want to come up and say hi, or are you going to bug me more? Dog's just looking at me. You guys can't see it, but she's right here just staring at me. Being goofy. Um, we finally got the Bosa, guys. Finally. Level 26. Um, KHN, welcome. How's it going? Ow! Your claws are sharp. Your claws are sharp, Kofi. Ow, I see you. I see you. I'm trying to scream. I'm trying to scream. Uh, Diana, welcome back. Um, oh yeah, guys, it is just about time for another code. Thank you guys for reminding me. Hi, Natsuki. Now I have two. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna grab another code for you guys while we finish this up. Um, drop that down. Alright. Uh, you killed five titanosaurs. Nice, Aslan. That's gotta be a fair amount of XP. 
has those puppers, right? All the dogs. They think it's an hour later than it actually is because of the time change, so they're freaking out a little. All right, Mr. Mosa Man, come with me. Um, my thing is actually up here. So I'm going to have him follow me. Anyone know how to color dinos? You forgot how. Uh, dye some potent dust and then feed them the potent dust, Alyssa. It does take quite a bit of potent dust, but that's the best way to dye them. It's the only way, really. It's easier to do it when they're babies, but, you know. Hello, Mosa friend. Ooh, an eerie dolphin. That's tempting. That would be a super fast thing. Alright, where is my castle? Ow. Mosa's freaking out. It's fine. Mosa's freaking out. It's fine. Oh, there's a Sarko and everything. Problems? Problems. Um, Sir Hob, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, Exo Void, how's it going? Welcome. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having fantastic days. Yeah. Get up above the water. There's my castle. I do have my Moza with me, right? Uh-oh. Where'd my Moza go? Oh, there he is. Oh, the Moza just wrecked all those. I love it. Good job, Moza. Kill. Sick him, boy. Yeah. I want to help. I want to help so bad. Leave my Mosa alone. There we go. Okay, Moster Mosa, come over here. You did good. Oh no, I crashed! That's a bad time to crash. Not gonna lie. Alright, let me do this real quick. While we reload, guys. Why in the swamps are dangerous places you hate swamps? Uh, Kleonski, I actually really like living swamps. I don't know, I think it's a fun place to build. Not a lot of other people build there, and um... There's some really good resources in swamps, believe it or not. So I do actually like being there. Um, you like my hair? Thank you, Sir Uh, Nicole, how many griffin kibbles does a 140 griff need with a 15x? Uh, three, I would say. If they're not super griffin kibbles, three. Should be. Because one super griffin kibble tames a 130 with one. Um, and if it's a 140, it should take three regular kibble. If my math is correct, which it should be. Alright. Um, I'm starving. Hold on, guys. I just gotta re-log into admin stuff so we can turn on bright night when it gets dark. Because that's a whole thing. Knew we were gonna crash when we went in the water. Okay. Where's Mimosa? Uh... Excuse me, game? Oh, there it is. Hi, cutie pie. Don't be stuck. Alright, you know what? You, uh, stop there. Stay on target, because I don't want you to die. Beautiful. Alright, so... That is the wrong critter. Let's grab Frigga real quick. Come here. Uh, we're gonna go build a Mosa saddle back at base real quick, and then head on back. Um, and take the Mosa out for a test drive, which I'm really excited for. Actually super thrilled for that. What's my dog's breed and its name? Uh, Exovoid. I have two dogs. Uh, the one that was bugging me on stream here is Kopi. She is a Border Collie mix. Um, the other one is named Natsu, and he is a Lab Pit mix, and he's actually in here as well now. They will probably be bugging me throughout the stream now, because they think it's dinner time, even though it's too early. Um... 
Kenta, how's it going? Welcome. Please show us the swamp castle. Phoebe, it's not finished yet, but um, I definitely will be showing it off. No worries. It's a thing. It will happen. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, I need a Mosa saddle. I have to, like, look around my hair. It's a problem. I don't know if I can make one yet. Oh, I can. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I don't have enough Ingram points. Are you kidding me? Can anyone make an Ingram sa uh, a Mosa saddle? Um, hold on. I need to actually type in everyone's chat. Problems. Big problems. All right. Big sad, actually. Let's see if there's another eerie critter around here that we want. Oh, a fairy. If it's a high level, I will take it. No, that's terrible. Okay. Dodo's always good. Stupid easy to get, but you know, if it's a max level, I would do it. Titanum Mirma, please, no. I don't. No, I don't want. You can, Cassie. I would love you forever if you could make me one, Cassie. <laughs> you can use my smithy and anything in it. Me. And I will give you things for it, because thank you. Um. <laughs> I need to start doing puppy videos. Uh, that's actually not a bad idea. Kenta, you've been shouted out. How's it going? How to get Noctis. MD, you have to get lucky. Uh, Noctis can uh, only be tamed by finding them in the boss fights when you're doing dungeons. So there's about a 1 in 1,000 chance on your standard week that you're going to get a Noctis and a 1 in 500 chance that you'll get one during Blitz Week. So keep running dungeons a lot. Run them every week and you will eventually get one. Um, it's my best best suggestion sadly uh how do you get the tech thingy i snipe uh the tech replicator i had to run dungeons for the element and then craft it um and then i also had to run the dungeons for the uh blueprint for it so many mutations yeah i have a few All right, where is... I'm trying to, like, see where... High fiber, paste pearls, metal, yes. Okay. How many pearls do they take? Because I do have pearls as well. They're in my fabricator. Or the tech replicator, one of the two. Stay, Frigga. Okay. Eh. Okay, K has a saddle for me. Oh, thank you, KK. I don't know where anybody is. Ow. There we go. Hey, Willow. Eh. Alright, let's, uh... I, like, totally lose track of where I am. Um, <laughs> I want your green griffin. Can I have... No, Alexander. I love my green wing griffin. Um, I have a green wing griffin, and I have a blue butt griffin, and I need to put them together at some point. Coming to me. Oh, thank you, KK. All right. I will land outside my base and stop flying around like a goon. There we go. I will stand nicely and wait for the Moses saddle, and we will take the Moses saddle out and do stuff. Also, this sound is driving me crazy now that I'm not underwater. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, how long has the stream been growing on? Uh, Joseph, the stream has been on for about an hour and a half, so we still have time to spawn, uh, spawn tame a couple of things. <laughs> Bright night is good. It is very good. Culty, are you pouting? You're pouting. Eh. Animated, how do you get the crashing to stop? Um, animated, you really can't. There's no way to, like, guarantee that the crashing will stop. 
all you can do is improve performance on your device. And the best way to do that is to put it on battery saver mode and make sure that all of your graphics resolutions are at their lowest setting and uh, regularly restart your device because that helps clear out the memory cache, which keeps it running a little bit smoother. Um, that's about all you can do. Um, Game Potato Rex, please. Uh, Logan, that is something I probably should have done during the Fear Evolved event. Phoebe, your cat's lying on your chest watching the stream with you. Aw, Phoebe, that's the best. I love when animals cuddle with you. It's that's awesome. Um, Celia, congratulations on getting your braces off. That is a big deal. I snipe. If you want to join the server, uh, you definitely can. It, it is a patron-only server, so you would have to become a patron of the channel. Uh, the minimum donation amount is five dollars a month to join this particular server. Um. But I do have free servers available if you can't afford uh, the Patreon for whatever reason. Um, do I know the Big Bang series on Netflix? Uh, ELG, I didn't know that it was on Netflix, but I've watched the Big Bang series. I loved that series. Related to it quite a bit as a scientist, although I was not a physicist. Um, <laughs> How come the dinos change colors? Uh, Gaming with Junior, because they're eerie creatures. Um, so it's one of the skins that uh, Arc Mobile has. It's the only skin, really, that Arc Mobile has for dinos is the eerie creatures. Hi, Kopi. Pill, I know. I love you too. You're a good dog. What? Ah. Um. <laughs> Beast says, "Hi, I want to love from India." Hi, Beast. How's it going? Welcome. Did you? What? Hi. Um. When you get your braces off, you're gonna chew gum. Celia, that's the way. That's the way. You know how to live. I, I ate popcorn as soon as I got my braces off when I was younger. Hello. Yes, cheer. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you gave me element. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what all are you giving me? Heck, thank you, KK. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a big cheer. And a big thanks. Hecking good. KK, you have spoiled me rotten, man. Oh my goodness. I gotta put the element away so that I don't, like, mess up. <laughs> I'm gonna put the element in my fabby so I don't lose it. Oh, we have all of the things? All yours. Thank you so much, KK. You are amazing, sir. We're gonna take this Moza out and wreck stuff. Oh, I'm so excited right now. So excited. Um... Everyone's so excited about the dog. Uh, I'm so glad you guys like uh, seeing the pupper. She is really bugging me today. I think she's a little bit hungry. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to give her a big meal after the stream ends. Um, she has to wait a little while, but she'll get she'll get a lot of food and love. Um. Can't even tame Rexes because so many danger creatures. Klansky, uh, it can be difficult for sure. You definitely can. All right, for people who wanted to see my um, swamp castle, it's not done, but this is the foundation of it. Um, it's going to be quite a bit bigger, and I'm still working on the roof line, but this is the foundation and sort of the start of my balcony that I've got going on. There's a lot left to do here, but it's all gonna it's all gonna go well and be good. Um, I actually don't want you on passive. I want you on neutral. Uh, just in case something nasty comes by, because I don't have anything here. All right, Mr. Mosa Man, come here, baby. Oh, he's a big boy. Ow. Eh. Aha! Oh, look at that. Oh, so easy. Just munch, munch. We'll just bite everything. Oh, I love it. We have a Moza. We officially have a Moza. We're so much faster. Um, oh, I need to breathe. Is important. Okay. 
Um, we can increase the tame stamina. That's a big deal. Or speed. Let's give him a... Let's give him a little bandana. We'll make him quicker. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Now we can find all the eeries. Uh, Mr. Dope, I am fantastic today. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic uh, evening. Jacob, how's it going? Can you buy uh, to get patron for anyone else? Uh, Jacob, I generally prefer that people um, don't share Patreon. Uh, so essentially the issue is, is that I've had people who have been had Patreon gifted to them in the past, and the people who received the gift of the Patreon caused issues. Um, so if it's one person, it's somebody you know really well, then I usually will make an exception for that, and you can absolutely purchase Patreon for somebody. But if it's a random person that you've never met, I don't usually allow um, gifting of patron status because it does cause issues um, on the servers, which I then have to deal with. <laughs> All right. What's we got? Let's clear out the whole ocean. I feel so strong on this Moza. It's amazing. Oh, we're out of Sam. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna eat this jellyfish because I can. Look at the free biotoxin. Oh, goodbye, anglers. It was nice knowing you. Goodbye, Nidaria. Oh, so good, so good. Oh my goodness. Potatoes, I love it. Um, <laughs> not a rage effect run, right? I know it's amazing. All right, guys, it is time for another code. Time is going so fast, I can't believe it. There we go. How long will stream go on for? Another about hour and 20-ish minutes, hour and 15, somewhere in there. Um. Rage effect, run! No, Logan, I'm fine. As long as I'm on the Mosa, I'm fine. Good luck with the code, guys. What subject in school do I hate? Uh, ELG. That's a good question. Um, the subject I probably hated most in all of the school that I took from, like, kindergarten all the way through college, the subject I hated the absolute most was physics. And I'll tell you exactly why I hated physics. It was because they expected you to make consistent leaps in logic. There was a big gap in thinking in physics. Um, they were like, okay, if you assume this, then you can say this and this and this. And it was like, how did you get the assumption? Like, how do you make that assumption? Because not everybody is going to think the same way. Not everybody's going to assume the same thing. And unless you are looking up the answer to that particular problem, or that particular type of problem, there's no way they could expect the average person to figure that out, right? So it really bothered me because physics seems like this weird place for me where they just, I don't know, they expected you to know more than anybody could be expected to know. Um, and it, it really bothered me. Like every everything else, calculus, like any sort of biology, any sort of other class I had, English, like everything else made sense. It was literally just physics drove me insane because they wanted me to constantly be making these leaps that just didn't make sense to me. Um, and I didn't understand how they could expect people to make those leaps. The actual math was fine. It was literally everything else that bothered me. <laughs> um, let's see, am I gonna buy a PS5? I don't have plans to at this point in time. Um, <laughs> Willow, congratulations on getting the code. That is amazing. Uh, where should we apply the code? Uh, Sham Myth, it only works once. So if you aren't the first person to get it, you won't, unfortunately, be able to redeem it later. But um, the code is applicable um, in the in-game options menu. If you uh, go under extras, which you can see here, uh, and you hit this button at the very bottom, it's uh it says support code you want to hit support codes and then enter the code there and hit either accept or redeem in single player to get the uh giveaway items i recommend copy pasting it from the stream because it is very very hard to get those codes redeemed when there's a lot of people trying to redeem them it's another ammonite yeah all right let's keep searching I've got rage, so everything's gonna come for me. 
kind of excited about it, actually. Eh, hello, angler. Eh. Oh, Plessy! What level are you? You're not eerie, so it doesn't matter? Are you eerie? You are eerie. Wait a minute. Oh, no, an eel! Not eels! I don't like eels. I don't do eels! No! 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 Okay. Can I pull out my spyglass? Can I not pull out my spyglass on the back of my Moza? Because that's dumb. Don't shock me. Don't shock me. I hate eels so much. They're the worst. Got it. Alright, so for whatever reason... I hate that you can't pull out spy glasses on the back of Moses. It seems like such a stupid thing to me. Eh. Level 15. I'm gonna kill it, because it's so low. Like, you should be able to pull out a spy glass on the back of Moza. Like, I could lift one hand and look through my spy glass. I'm sorry. There we go. Alright, Plessy. Didn't give me anything cool. Looking for other cool things. It's mostly just anglerfish, more ammonites. Nadaria. No more eels. I don't like eels. Go away. Anglers. Nidaria. Oh my gosh. One day I will find a useful tame and it will be amazing. A lot of critters. Nothing good. Literally nothing good. Eh. Oh well. Oh well. Someday I'll find another Leopluridon as well. I haven't seen a Leopluridon in a long time. Oh, there are so many Nidaria here. So many Nidaria in that little area. Eh. Look, it's the pimple. I don't understand what this mound of sand is for. It confuses and upsets me every time I see it. I avoid this part of the ocean for that reason. Oh my god, it's a Leopluridon! Oh my god, it's a Leopluridon! Look, guys! I haven't seen one of these in forever. They're so angry. Oh, there's two! What are the odds? Oh my god. What are the odds? Look at the Leopluridons! It's a Leopluridon, Charlie. I had to. I had to. Oh my god, they're beautiful. They're mean, but they're beautiful. I wish I had honey on me. I would try to tame one. Oh my goodness. They're so good. Leopluridons. Uh, if anyone wants a Leopluridon, guys, they are... I can't even pull out my map. It's upsetting. Lower lower right-hand corner of the map. There were two. Two! Damn. <laughs> How did I find two Leopluridons? I don't know, Mr. Dope. It's a lucky kind of a day, I guess. Um... That's amazing. I don't have the stuff to tame them. I literally don't have any honey on me. Um, I don't have a beehive set up either, so I don't have a way to get honey unless I ask for some, but it would probably spoil by the time I could get it out here and get them tamed. Leopluridons are actually not super easy to tame because of the fact that the honey spoils so fast. Although I suppose I could put it on fishing poles and drag it out here because it does preserve it. Um, <laughs> I am so lucky. I am. I really am. It's tempting to try to tame them, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's very tempting. I should only really tame one, but you know. You know. Two Leoploridons. Um, there's a Mosa right there. Just, uh, my Mosa. Was there another one? Because I'm looking for more Mosas, actually. Uh, Mosas, Tusos, somebody has a gate. Somebody has an underwater cave here. Hello, eel. Uh, Plessies, Megalodons, uh, Basilos. I'm looking for any underwater creature that would be good. Preferably eerie, but I will take whatever. Mr. Pepper, you gave up on this game? Why? Oh, somebody built a trap for Mosas right here. Look at that. It's a good little Mosa trap. Um, 
Bye, honey, from the outpost station. Ow. Can you buy it from the, uh... Not from the chef station, the outpost station? Well, that's tempting. I haven't tamed a Leoplerodon in so long, I can't, like, remember how. Trash Mosha wasn't trashed after all. No, the Trash Mosha was... Mos... Mosha? Moza was very lucky. Um... Here, let me do this. Crafting stations. The outpost gives you sap and a beehive. It doesn't give you honey. It gives you sap. But the chef station also doesn't give you honey. They don't give you honey. I'm big sad, but they don't give you honey. Yeah, sap is not the same. I can buy the uh, fishing rods, but I can't buy the actual honey itself. Um, no honey, sorry. Where are the eerie creatures at? It's Cortez. I'm looking for them, man. I'm searching. We're going on an adventure. I have been having okay-ish luck with this. Um, what do we level up on this guy? Speed. We'll be even quicker. He's low level, so it's more important to be fast than anything. Fast and potentially stamina is going to be an issue. We'll see. Oh, I feel so quick now. I can't believe I found two Leoplerodons and I don't have a way to tame them. That's so upsetting. Um, <laughs> Rip, you thought it did? Yeah, Mr. Dope, I'm upset. If it did, oh, I would have done it. Hey, look, a Moza. Look, I killed that in area. Hi, Mosa. This one's eerie. This one's eerie. Hey, hey. Hi, cutie. Come on. Go check. Go check. It's a level 20 female. Guess what? I have a level 20 male. Guys, do we tame the eerie level 20 female Mosa so it can be friends with my non-eerie... Level 20 male. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It, they're so bad, but I, I feel like I should. Um, that Nidaria is coming for me, though. I'm going to eat that guy first. Oh, he tried. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I have tons of prime. I could definitely tame this thing. Pretty quickly. And I have cat skibble. This might be the thing. Oh, and she's eerie. I want her. I've decided. I can breed her into a regular one later. Hi. You wanna be my friend? I'm gonna go just above your height line. And try not to die. No! I don't have flippers. So this is really awkward. Really, really awkward. Oh, I'm so dead if I get hit too many times by a Mosa. Ow. Stupid anglerfish, go away. No bites. No biting. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Go away. He takes one bite and leaves. Come here. No, come back. Look, don't I look tasty? Don't I look tasty? Oh, that drop off is crazy high. This is a lot easier to tame a Mosa on a Baryonyx than on another Mosa, not gonna lie. Especially since I don't have any stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi. Cool. Uh, Mosa killed an angler. Uh, follow? Be my friend? Buddy? Okay. Okay, stop. Oh my goodness. 
All right, bring me closer. Right here. Can you hit me? Oh, perfect. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness. The issues. The issues are real. Eh. No. I'm gonna so hard to hit you. Ah! Oh. Okay, that didn't hurt that bad. No, no, no! No, passive! 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 Stop that! Don't you dare! Don't you dare hurt the... your future girlfriend. Who is eerie and beautiful. Oh, come on. Oh, stupid angler. I'll deal with him in a minute. Go away. You're not the one I want. Oh my gosh, we're so hurt. I've got to worry a little bit. Come on, draw the bow. She's running. Okay. Hop on the Moza. Follow her. Are you stuck? Are you nice and stuck there? I like it when you're stuck. No! Oh my god. Why? I didn't... I don't have tap to mount on. What is happening? Oh! 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 She's down. She's down. Come here, Mr. Moza. So many problems, guys. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Couldn't look at chat during any of that. It was so stressful. Eerie Moza. Oh no, there's night area. Oh, it's the worst. Oh god. Come here. I gotta eat you all. They're coming out of the rocks at me. It's terrible. Okay, thank goodness I can get the biotoxin from them. Okay. Are we good now? Oh my god. No. Nate. Draw me. There we go. No. Alright, I have a Quetzal Kibble. I have some Prime. We're good. Hello, cutie. Oh, you're gonna be my friend. You don't even know it yet. You're gonna be my friend. Um, let's give you some of this. Alright, we're gonna use the Miner Bomb. I really need to go on a Soothing Bomb run. Not gonna lie. There we go. Alright, we'll give her a kibble and some prime meat. Beautiful. Look at that. She is actually eerie. The eerie on the Mosa is like kind of disappointing because it's so small, but I will take it. I miss your Mosa, man. Eh. I'm hungry. Okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna mate them, right? Uh, Kleonski, yes. Unfortunately, my odds of getting another Eerie Moza out of this pair are pretty small, but I will do it until I get one because two Mosas and having them be that good is, uh, is pretty good. Um, <laughs> Coffee, after today they'll be removed, but you feel like an unofficial it should be an option, not fair. Coffee, I mean, yes, but also, like, I understand that um, the devs of the game want Eeries to be rare and they want them to be something that is special and event focused so i do understand why they're making them only available during uh the halloween event i wish the halloween event was two weeks instead of one that is my biggest complaint i think that the event length is a little too short um but that's okay we're still getting some eerie so it is what it is uh mythico uh it's an eerie event it's very helpful Hi. All right, we're going to take some of this meat for her, too. Hello, beautiful. Eh. Um, your eerie beetle's name is? Uh, 
Willow, what is your eerie beetle's name? All right, so I could definitely set down my chef station and get um, another kibble, which might be the play. Won't matter too much. A mosa is a mosa, even if it's a low level. And eventually, I'll be able to get a high level one, and uh, then we'll have OP mosas. And I'll be very happy. Very happy indeed. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Do Valguero like Schwab's RL Lark? Um. We need to pass the tame with baits on everything? Uh, is that the... RL Lark? Are you sure that's not like the immersive taming mod? Because that's what it sure sounds like. Can I rate the bosses on Ark Story Mode? Um, Andrew, in what way? How much health does my character have? Uh, Sana, a fair amount. 427. Not too bad. Uh, what makes an eerie different? Alex, uh, it's color. So, here. I can show you best by looking at them in the inventory. It's easier to see them. So if you look at this Moza, um, you see this green patch on his side. That's a static color, so it stays green. It never changes, right? The difference between um, a non-eerie creature like this guy and an eerie creature like this one here, and you can kind of see it as I'm swimming up to it, is that the color region uh, rotates. So looking at where that green region was on the other one, you can see it's shifting in the color range. It's going through a full rainbow spectrum. Um, so eerie creatures are really cool looking. They're very bright. They're very colorful. They kind of glow and uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. I love them so much. So um, and they're really rare. Uh, you can't get an eerie Mosa any other time unless you have um, eerie spawns on your servers, which they only do for events. So they're also extremely rare, particularly water dinos are rare for eerie. So big deal. Very excited about this eerie Mosa for sure. Super, super happy that it spawned in Eerie. Um, and I am going to have to work real hard to figure out a way to keep these guys safe because I don't know what to do to keep them safe yet. Um, can we go down to the ground? Okay. Relatively okay. Let's go ahead and get out some Kets Kibble if I can. No? I'm pretty sure I'm not out of bounds, but okay. Apparently that's out of bounds. What's... I don't know what's out of bounds or not anymore. Okay, I'm gonna have to go... Eh. Over here, very carefully. Inbounds. There we go. Very carefully, very cautiously. Get my cat's kibble. Pronto cats. There we go. Because I'm definitely going to need it to tame this one. And I'm not messing around with this tame. I actually really want it. So we're going to do what we have to do to get it. I love that it got itself stuck in this little area. That's amazing. Um, tame some eerie RGs. Alex, uh, it's actually not a bad idea. I do have a couple of eerie RGs, so they're not the most urgent thing, and eerie RGs are relatively common. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use the kibble. I think I only need two more kibble for this guy. Um, Exavoid, what's my favorite critter? Um... Like, small creature on arc, or small critter, like, IRL critter? Because they do differ. Um, does the event apply on single player? Mythico, sadly, no. You can't do this on single player. It is a multiplayer only thing. I think the eerie RGs are too bright for you. Exavoid. I, I do kind of feel you on that. Um, they can be extremely bright. Um, I do kind of like it, but if your screen is too big, they can kind of hurt your eyes. Not gonna lie. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's see. 
Risky. Have I found Neri Tuso? Not yet, Risky. Uh, Tuso's evade me. I It took me a year after they released him to find one. So I doubt I'll find an Eerie Tuso that quickly, but I'm sure somebody else has, and I would not be um, not be upset with finding one of those. Also, I am late for another code, guys. My goodness. Uh, we're going to get a lot of codes dropped here. Two, three, four, five. Five codes left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is an eel. I don't like it. No, big mean eel. Can I hit him? There we go. No eels. Eels are big mean. Leave my Mosa alone. There we go. Is this a series? Caleb, um, sort of. This is kind of a streaming series that I'm doing. Um, I haven't made any videos on this particular server, but um, I have done quite a few streams at this point, like 19 streams or something. So it's sort of a streaming series. Um, <laughs> how to tame a Tuso. Uh, Sarab, if you want to tame a Tuso, you need a creature for it to grab. Um, I would usually suggest something like a Plessy or a high level uh, Carbonimus that has a lot of health. Something that's going to be able to take a little bit of a beating. Um, you let the Tuso grab the creature and then you swim up to its mouth and you force feed it a stack of 50 black pearls. That's how you tame Tusos. Uh, it can take more than one stack of 50 pearls depending on the level it is. And you can use a soothing bomb on them to make it go faster. But, um, Tusos are technically a passive tame, but it's a difficult passive tame. Um... Impossible for the code. Joel, yeah, it's not easy. Yay, we have a Mosa. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. I'm so excited, guys. We did it. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at her. Come with me. Oh, you're so pretty. All right, guys, we have our little Mosa pack. I'm so happy. There we go. We have me and the female. Come with me. Oh my goodness. I don't even have a safe place to keep them yet. I, I'm i just excited that I have uh, an Erimosa. Like, actually super hyped. I am so far away from my base. Uh, let's go ahead and head back over to the swamp base. Maybe we'll set up a little um, area for them today. That might be a thing. And we'll keep looking for other Eries and see if we find anything good. Always on the lookout for Basilos. Basilos are my favorite underwater critter. Critter. Um, <laughs> Schwan says, are there frogs in the swamp cave? Uh, Schwan, no, they're not frogs. There are scorpions and Araneo mostly, and there used to be Meganera, but not so much anymore. There are eerie RGs. You're going to get back into Ark and Tame one. Sana, there are, in fact, eerie RGs right now on the servers. Um, they're only here for one more day, so... Um... Bye, Lord, uh, Lord Rocks. How's it going? Thank you so much for hanging out, man. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Jess, thank you so much for the super chat. Do appreciate that. Try by Craig's Island for two, so you done close been killed three times right next to your base there on PV. Oof, Jess. Oof. That is actually where I tend to find them the most is in the south there. But, um, yeah, maybe we'll head down there and look for one. I don't have a good creature that it could grab right now that it wouldn't kill. And I don't know that I have enough black pearls to tame it, but it would be kind of amazing to have an eerie too, so. Um, do you ever find an eerie giga? Uh, Ritwick, I didn't actually look for one yet. I was too busy looking for an eerie underwater creature because they're so hard to get. And I found an eerie mosa, so I'm very happy. The eerie is a little disappointing, but I like it anyway because mosa. Mosas are just OP, and I love them. Come on. Come on, little girl. All right, we got a shark. I hate that I can't see what level things are. Like, that's probably a decent level Mosa. Or shark. Megalodon. Heck. Words. And I just can't, can't see what level it is, which is a big sad. 
All right, that's the electric forest. Level 75, okay, not that great. Could be better. Love Eerie Water Tame so much. Hund, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, YouTube stream. Oh, yeah. Hund, we have an Eerie Mosa and it's beautiful. Look at that thing. Look at it. It could be better, but I'm I'm very happy with it. Um, <laughs> You're still here? Well, I'm glad you're still here, still here lol. Super happy. Cortez, Iguana is an aberrant creature and eerie creature are the same. No, Cortez, they are two different things. Um, aberrant creatures have kind of a glow effect, but they are not color shifting. So they will be the same color all the time. Uh, although they do glow, especially at night, which is very pretty. Eerie is specifically eerie because it does the color spectrum um, and sh cycles through that, that color spectrum. How to get a lot of black pearls. Mythico, um, kill a lot of mosas and tusos uh, and trilobites. That's probably the best way to get them. Um, open your free gifts because you can get black pearls from free gifts. Run dungeons because you can get black pearls from running dungeons. Black pearls are probably the rarest resource in the game, no lie. And they are something you really should definitely try to get. Um, is this my... It is. Wow. That was fast. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. See, I need to, like, build a little, uh, thingy here for my Moses to chill. Because they're beautiful. And I don't want them to die. Um, also, I'm gonna put a collar on you. Should we do a bow tie? Yeah, because it's health. There you go. Bow tie on the Irimosa. Um, and you need to be on neutral. Ow. Oh, I got bit by a leech. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I need to go make a campfire like super fast. Forgot that leeches were a thing. Ow. He's mean. I think he might even be a diseased leech. Ow, get off me. Okay, problems. Problems are real. Me. Right, is there a rock around here I can beat up? Please, game, please. I need a rock. There's one. Works for me. Ow. Alright, what do I need for a campfire? Nothing good. Stupid leeches. Um, <laughs> it's been just this a while, so name a female mosa mommy hunt. <gasps> That's it. That's what we're naming her. God, I hate leeches. D-leech! Oh, I gotta like... There we go. Aha! Deleechify. What do we get? Eh. It's okay. Alright. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far, guys. Uh, it's my favorite DLC in ARC. Aberration, by far. Um, Asta says you're so pretty. Thank you, Asta. You guys are so sweet. Uh, not quite time for a code. Well, I think we have a code in, like, four minutes-ish. Yeah. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four. Four codes left. Do you want it to 20, 240, and then two at the end? Yes, I've got it. Um, <laughs> let's see. WTQD. Uh, do I think they're done for removing floaters? Uh, no. I actually commend them for removing floaters. Floaters have been uh, a big problem in the game for a long time. I think they should have been removed ages ago, personally. Um... They did try, I know, and then somebody found a new way to build them, so it was a problem. Uh, but floaters don't exist in the PC game. They are against guidelines. Uh, they shouldn't exist in any game mode. It makes no sense in terms of the physics, and I think they kind of lock you into um, an aerial sort of uh, like meta, and I don't like that for PvP. Like I don't play a lot of PvP on mobile because of time, 
but I have played PvP in the past, and the aerial meta is one that is very, very specific. Um, and so I'm really glad that they decided to change it and make it so that you have, like, just use some ground dinos. Like, they exist in the game for a reason, right? No more god ketzes. <laughs> they are a problem. Alright, so I am very, very happy. Um, KK, you have another gift? Wait, wait, for me? I need to check my mail, apparently. I also need to swap out my chest piece, and we should go look for a Giga for sure. Oh, there we go. Do something about the broken glass here. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Willow, you gave me a crazy screen effect. I don't know how to feel about it. I forgot prank gifts were in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, heck, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, KK. Our, this is the uh, primal loot. Thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome, dude. Amazing. Oh, we have all the things now. I can't even, like... Eh. Can't even put stuff places. We got the unicorn effect from that prank gift, Willow, and it's trippy. Oh my goodness. It's so trippy. Um, <laughs> don't really play in here anymore. Yeah, KK, I can understand that, ma'am. Thank you so much. That is, like, super helpful. We love it. Um, Alright, so let's go grab a griffin, and let's go just real quick. I don't know that we're going to find one, but we should definitely look for an Eerie Giga, because those are also very difficult to get. We've already got the Eerie Mosa, so maybe we'll get an Eerie Giga. This is my griffin, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't see anything. It's terrible. <laughs> Can you tame an Eerie Titan? Um, Benjamin, uh, we could, actually. I do have a Quetzal. I would need to make all of the cannonballs for it, which would be a problem. But you can tame an eerie titan, for sure. That is a thing. I don't even know where a titan is on the map. I also am having, like, the most hard time seeing. Oh, so bad. So trippy. Alright, we'll head over this way. Oh, did I see the note? Um, what obelisk is what now? Yeah, that's actually great, because you can't see the color of the obelisk anymore. Um... <laughs> Pixel did this to you too. It's amazing. <laughs> Which dungeon has a chance to spawn Noctis more often? Venki, any dungeon that is during Blitz Week. So Blitz Week is the way. I see an eerie RG or two, and they're beautiful. Um, it's also time to drop another code, so I guess that's why I've paused. Code, 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 code. Um, Morgan Ritter, happy birthday! That's amazing! Welcome to 14. That is super awesome. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Sunday Tubby, thank you. I really appreciate that. Pixel Gun, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, there we go. I gotta, like, stupid cords keep cutting out the picture, and it's very annoying. Oh, you wrote a little note. Uh, no, I didn't see that one, Willow. I will have to check that. 45. If I can find a max level Eerie RG, I will be very pleased. Level 50. God, I can't see anything. I should really tame uh, an Anki, too, because I love Ankies so much. Where's the wolf? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my eyeballs. Hello, RG. Level 25. At least it's easy to spot the RGs now. They're very easy to find when they're this color. Hi. Ah, where are you? Come here. I can't see your level. Five? Oh my goodness, no. That's just a no. Alright, what do we got? Um, we have an Eerie Rex. He's beautiful, but bad. Oh my god, I don't know how I could even spot a Giga at this point, like... <laughs> my poor eyeballs. Oh my goodness, how long is this gonna last? Uh, buff. No, let me see. I gotta... Let me see if I can see my buff. 
Oh, I don't know how long this is gonna last. That's the worst. Um, <laughs> what are the codes for? Uh, uh, so the codes are for a top hat skin, Yuri Candy, and a Bat Goyal statue. They are kind of a slightly delayed Halloween thing, but, um, Yuri Candy is always useful, and the top hat skin is always really cool to get as well. Hello, Fairy. Level 20. Hello, Rex. Level 75. RG. I'm looking at all of the critters, looking to see what might be good. RG, please. I can't see your level. 10? Okay. Not good. What about you? 60? Not good. Oh. Okay, I can see now. The eerie creatures were actually kind of easier to see before. Um, ELG, I should try ARC, but five times bigger. It's a mod where every creature is five times bigger. That's massive, and I don't know how I would feel about that. Five times bigger is very, very big. Alright, so sometimes Gigas will spawn over here. Although rarely. Um, we got Neri RG. All right, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Always looking. Got some eerie rexes. If I find a good level rex, I will tame it because I have been wanting rexes. Oh, that's a mammoth. Oh, you look so cool. You look so cool. Confused me for a moment, but it's fine. Um. No, that's trash. Eh. Eh. Climb! Ah! Alright, not seeing anything yet. Hi, cutie. What level are you? Level 90? We're almost there. Almost. Uh, Nigadora, are you late? Uh, not too late, man. Um, we did tame an eerie griffin and an eerie mosa already, and a regular mosa. Currently looking for um, an eerie giga, although I don't think we're gonna find one because they are quite rare. <laughs> can you destroy a tribe base, Benjamin? Um, I can. I wouldn't, unless there was like a very good reason. As an admin, I can, um, but I can't destroy one because this is a PVE server. Do the codes work on single player? Chad, yes. Uh, you can get them on single player. You just go to enter it um, on any regular server and hit redeem in single player. Uh, Skullcrasher, uh, this is a server. Uh, bye, Mr. Pepper. Thank you so much for hanging out. Shanka, everything is eerie because there is currently an eerie event going on right now for Halloween. It's about to end, and so we are taking the opportunity to um, tame as many good rare eerie creatures as we can so we already have an eerie mosa uh and some eerie griffins i'm kind of looking for um eerie gigas because those are also super rare but i'm not seeing any because again super rare hello beautiful gosh you're pretty i wish you were good do wish you were good <laughs> Ugh, it's not eerie. Get it out. Oh, it's a 150. Never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't kill you. It'd be blasphemy. Um, you I could kill. You I will kill. You I kill. Yeah. I feel like I can't kill the ones that are, like, max level, whether they're eerie or not. Can't do it. Can't bring myself to destroy it. Who are you? 25? You trash? Come here. Open up some spots. Open up spawn spots. Those are my gigas. Alright, let's go check the volcano. See what we've got over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Basically, uh, gigas can spawn pretty much on any mountain. Hello, little RG friend. Hello, little RG friend. They're terrible. I heard stomping. 
Lots of RGs. Sometimes I will find gigas over here, although it is rare. Yeah, the Eeries are sadly only on multiplayer. They uh, don't go to single player. You still have to run dungeons for them on single player. Or use your kibble processor. Um, so there are some Eerie creatures that you just can't get on single player at this point, which is a big sad, but um, I hope people aren't too disappointed because it is still a really cool event. I have high hopes that someday they will bring, be able to bring that to, um, to single player and maybe make that a thing, but we'll see. Controller player, welcome. How's it going? Uh, Shipanka says, I'm so lucky. Why am I lucky? I'm lucky I saw two Leo Pluridons today, which is very lucky. That's super rare. Oh, 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 oh. Let's trap it. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's beautiful. Look at him. Oh my god. Okay, I don't have a trap. I need one. Um, because they don't take torpor unless you trap them. It's a whole thing. Uh, who wants to help me trap this Giga? I didn't actually expect to find one! Not one until your device literally catches on fire. Yeah, hunt, exactly. I can't believe it. He's beautiful. Uh, does anybody have a good trap set up around here for him? I know there's one over in the snow biome, but I don't know if I want to kite him that far, because that's kind of a pain, and they do hurt when they bite. Um, he'll, uh, ooh, can you trap the, the 120 MU griff for me? And I will keep an eye out for him. Um, Willow, you'll help. Awesome, Willow. Do you have, Willow, can you bring me, like, four behemoth gates and gate thingies? I forgot Titan. Pixel, I don't think we'll be able to tame a Titan today, sadly, but we can definitely tame this Giga today. That can be a thing. Get, Ketzel Kibble's easy. Um, it'll help. Awesome. We just need a... We just need the, the gates for him, basically. Behemoth gates. Over in the snow is set up. Yeah, Killa, that's so far away, though, from where we are. I'm on the volcano. I can try to lead him over there, but he's going to hurt, like, a lot. Hi, buddy. He's just eating the cats on the way down. It's fine. I'll try to bring him down the valley a little. It's not ideal. Hi, buddy. It's really not ideal. Because I don't really have a good way to kite him. Um... <laughs> You have tamed an Equus in solo. Ashok, congratulations. Equus are one of my favorite creatures, actually. He is beautiful. He's actually a very good looking Giga. Like, his base color is pretty good because he gets really bright. Looks amazing. Uh, four gates and two gate doors. Willow, um. You know, that ought to do it, actually. I. Might be able to make that work. Headed to Volcano. Thank you, Transformational. He's, like, all over the place. He wants the RG super bad. Ow! Okay, buddy, come here. I'm trying to kite him down the hill a little. So that we can get him to a flatter area to trap him in. Ow. Oh, he hurts so bad. Okay, I gotta, like, hover just out of reach. He's on me. There we go. Yeah, Willow, you can absolutely craft that at my base. This is a slightly better area. It's a little more flat. Okay, um, <laughs> what arrow do you use to tame the Giga? Um, I'm gonna use my Trink Darts, probably, because they are probably the best way to do that. 
But any Trank arrow, Toxicant arrows are the best by far. There we go. Keep him on me. Uh, nope. Watch out! Alright, he's so mad. He's so mad. Oh, I got an RG on me. Alright. He's nice and distracted. Um, Willow, we are basically by the central cave-ish. Uh, we're in that valley. We're pretty easy to find. Between the volcano and that other one. Um, let me do that. There we go. Alright, he's slowly making his way towards the snow biome. I am so hyped for this, uh, Eerie Giga, guys. You don't even know. I really should be... I should have dropped another code soon? Soon. Uh, Jacob, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, I'm so hyped for this Eerie Giga. You don't even know, guys. Actually the most excited. actually the most excited all right let's go ahead and uh actually spam feed my poor griffin some meat because he half helped us with a few bites and we are gonna have to lead him into that trap so that's gonna be a whole thing there we go all right willow um here. Transformational, you got one gate, need wood? You can take wood from my stuff, Transformational, although I think you're... Oh, there we go. I got the gates. Actually, I think Willow's got it. Oh, there. Sweet! Hi, bug. Alright, so the real problem is... Getting this guy trapped be a bit tricky um all right so where do i want to set up this trap actually probably over where he is is a pretty good area for it uh right here actually would be beautiful i like this spot all right let's see what we can do no oh my god please don't snap Please don't snap. Why does it snap? I hate placing behemoth gates. Ow. These compies. Oh my god. Go away. Okay. I am busy. I hate placing gates. I feel like those are going to be too wide. He's going to be able to get out. But I don't know how to get them closer because of the snap. Ugh. 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 I honestly don't know how to get these closer. The snap is the worst. Why did they make Behemoth Gate snap and not the little ones? I don't understand. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so frustrating. I hate being in third person, too. It annoys me. Can we not snap these, please? That'd be great. Oh, transformational. Thank you so much, man. Do appreciate that. Woo! Thank you. Okay. I feel like he's going to be able to walk through these no problem. He's definitely going to be able to walk through these like they're nothing. Like, 100%. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I could do? If I was going to be clever to block him. I don't know how well this is going to work. Can I get off the griffin, please? Thank you. Ah, God, stop snapping. Fine. You know what? If you're going to snap, you're going to snap in a way that's helpful. Oh, God. Ah, that's scary close. Don't like it. Eh. Okay, I'm really bad at these types of uh, gates. The pillars in the gaps raid. That might be the way, honestly. Because I'm pretty sure he can he can walk right through these. Yeah, he definitely can. He walked himself right in there. I mean. It's real tempting to just place a gate on him. Ow. Oh, that hurts so bad. I can't place it there. Oh no! Transformational! In the way! Oh! I couldn't place the gate! Ow! Okay, I'm almost dead because of that. He's, he's not supposed to be in the trap yet. Willow, uh, pillars aren't really gonna super work. He can kind of just walk through those. There we go. I want him to stay distracted enough for me to place this gate. Is the problem. Okay. And then, ideally, we would have... I can just use these is the thing. Except I can't get them to not snap. There. That would have worked. So watch this. Eh. Okay. If I can do that... Ah, uh, my poor griffin. I know, right? I'm being very careful, guys. Don't worry. I think I need another gate. He almost had it. Uh, if we can get him in here... And I can block off these other two... Well, three, I guess, places... He could be very stuck. Tis, uh, tis a bit of an issue. If I could just get these to not snap for two seconds. Oh god, raptors, why? Why? Let me on. Oh, I've been pounced. Amazing. I freaking hate raptors. Hate them. Go away. I'm busy. I'm busy. I swear to all that is holy will end you. Alright, so he's busy chewing on that stuff. That's fine. Give me my friggin' gate. I want the store right now. Alright, let me just not have this be... Don't be snapped. Oh my god, if I could turn the snap off, that'd be so convenient. I want it not snapped, and I want it, like, right there. I literally can't do it. I literally cannot make this work. Eh. He's very busy, though. I wonder, while you're busy, sir, I am getting a little salty, Scott. I am. Okay, while he's doing that... Yeah, his torpor's at zero. I hate that you have to have them trapped. I hate it. hate it so much. Can we not get him inside at all? you, like, turn your butt around? I 
And why is his AoE so big? No! Ow! Oh my god, his AoE is stupid big. Stupid big. Actually dumb. Now we pause for 20 minutes while I feed my griffin. Ugh. <sighs> Today, daylight savings time day. Ferox, yes. Uh, daylight savings uh, did kick in or end, I guess, yesterday, um, last night. So uh, the stream will be at a slightly different time than it was before. Um, it's very disorienting, actually. Sorry, guys. I am having a lot of trouble with this Giga, but I'm taming this Giga before we end off today. It is a thing. It is going to happen. I hate that they don't take Torpor. Like, I think there's a bug. Well, the problem is, Cortez, that I can, um, I can shoot off the back of a griffin, and I can't shoot off the back of an RG. So that's why I'm using a griffin, is because I can pull out a weapon on the back of it, which is super, super helpful. I find it dumb that a Moza is so much easier than these guys, and I have Bright Knight on. He's very not moving. He's gonna destroy that eventually. me i'm actually kind of curious to know can i get like willow can you make me two more behemoth gates ow like not gateways the actual gates So if I had the gates right there, I pretty much have him. Because I don't think I have enough mats on me to make them. We just need to place gates in those and we'd be fine. Oh my goodness. Um, Erica, yes, actually it is time for another code. I'll do that real quick while we're doing this. Sorry guys, it's past time. Good luck with the giveaway. Uh, yeah, Cortez, I'm being careful, no worries. Can Willow, thank you so much. Two more. He's kind of busy chewing on that, so we might have a minute. And then also, if I hit him from over here, I might be okay. I'm probably going to need some help tranking him out, because it will probably take two or three people to trank him. Because of how stupid these things are. Willow, I have uh, three codes left? Two codes. Two codes left. The trap is messed up. Cortez, yes, the trap is... <laughs> He decided to stop and chew on the trap, and he's, uh, he's destroying it slowly. And unfortunately, I need that- I need gates, but I, like, don't have the mats. Can also help Trank. I would worry about the gates first. If we don't get him trapped, he's gonna get loose by chewing through this one. Which is not ideal. This does count, though. 40 darts on you. That's pretty good. Oh, there we go. He's taking torpor now. He's gonna run, though, is the problem. You understand the salt completely, right, Scott? The whole thing. This is kind of ideal if he just sits there and chews on this gate. Like, I'm fine with it. That should have counted.
Because he's currently... He's getting torpored, so... I'm pretty happy with that. But I don't want to chase him all over the place. Uh, Zona, how's it going? Gotta make sure you hit his head in just the right spot. Um, you can start tranking transformational. Cause Willow's here. Oh, careful, Willow. Whoa. I need those gates ASAP. Up oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. We've got this. Beautiful. He's stuck. Okay. Trank him. Nope. 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 Ha! Sucker. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much, Willow. Oh my goodness. So good. Can help, Trank? Alright. I'll let you guys know when to stop. So three people hitting him. He should go up pretty quick. All right, this is going to be awesome. All right, keep hitting him. Um, Icky the Eerie Queen. I will be after this. I'm actually so hyped for this Eerie Giga. I know he's only level 20, but like, it's exciting. <laughs> this trap makes me cringe. Yeah, Devess, it's a terrible trap. I admit, it's, a, it's the worst trap ever, but it's fine. Good luck. Hi, buddy. How did that not count? Oh, don't be able to get out. Don't be able to get out! No! Oh, dang it! It was too too wide right there. Stupid giga. Oh, he's out. Oh. <laughs> Panic for nothing. Alright, alright. Can I... Yes. All right. I got this guy. Um, let's go ahead and do this. He's worth it. Moat use that. Um, we'll give him the Ketsuko Kibble, actually. Beautiful. Hi, come here. Um, get an extra little bit of this. Heck. Hecking good. Ketsuko Kibble is the kibble that they eat, um, Willow. I actually have one on me because I was taming Moses. The torpor drop. Yeah, the torpor drop is a little scary, but luckily I have some biotoxin on me if I can get up where I can open his inventory. Um, there we go. We'll just keep that going the other way. All right, and... It only, it should only take one Quetzal Kibble to tame him, theoretically. And I can get another one if I need to. I know, I was panicking and then it, it went out. I was like, oh no, it's out, we're, we're done for. And then it just dropped, so we're good. Oh, he's beautiful. He is beautiful. So excited. How's his torpor doing? Still good. Plenty, plenty of biotoxins and narcotics. Oh, I'm so excited. Make him starve. It will tame in four minutes. Uh, Exotic, you don't need to starve. He'll tame in four minutes either way. Um, starving doesn't change anything um, about how long it takes to tame a thing. It just saves materials if the tame dies partway through um, the taming process. Starving 
Nerve taming does not make things go faster. It just gives you the appearance of it going faster. You still have to wait for it to get hungry. <laughs> the Giga Giga Notosaurus, right? Um, Cliff, you've subbed. Thank you so much, Cliff. I really appreciate that, man. Welcome to the channel. You guys are amazing. Thunderbolt plays. Hello, how's it going? Bye, Emmanuel. Thank you so much for hanging out. Six of sweet dreams, Giga. Yep, for sure. He's a happy Giga. The Storper's going up, so I'm good. He's so bright and colorful and beautiful, and I'm so happy that we have him, guys. So happy. Thank you guys so much to everyone who helped me tame this guy. You guys are awesome. Because look at him. He is stinking gorgeous. Such a bright eerie, too. Like, oh, oh. Everything I tamed today was level 20 except the griffin. <laughs> Literally everything. All of my Mos both Moses and the Giga, all level 20. It's fine. Uh, Labib, um, I'm actually waiting for Grounded to come out of early access for me to make a YouTube series on it, but I have played some of it um, on stream on Twitch, and it is a very fun game. I do very much like Grounded. Rather frightening, actually. I've gotten a lot of jump scares from that game um, by being sneak attacked by wolf spiders. Yes! He's alive! Oh, you're beautiful, sir. You're a big pain, but I love you. Oh my goodness. We're gonna... Oh, we have more Castle Kibble. Thank you, guys. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him. He's perfect. Oh, I love him. I love him. He's gonna come hang out with my other Giga. It's gonna be a whole thing. Alright, buddy. Tamed by Killa. Oh no, Killa, you got the tame. You got the knockout. All right, let's go ahead and get him uh, back to base. It's gonna be gonna be a little bit of a run. We got this. We got this. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's so perfect. Oh, I'm so hyped for this guy. So so hyped for this guy. Um, have I played FNAF? No, I have not. Uh, a lot of people ask me about that game. I really like playing Phasmophobia, guys. That's, like, one of my favorite games at the moment. I know Halloween's over. I know it's November, but, like, I'm probably still gonna be playing Phasmophobia for a while because ghosts are amazing. Um, call him Frank Cesaris, please, right? <laughs> No, no, no. Killa Nutcher was helping me so much. Killa's actually been amazing on the server. They um, have done a lot to help me keep stuff um, up and running around my base as well. They've helped me take care of crops. They've helped me take care of, like, everything. So Killa's definitely fine. In fact, if Killa wants to breed with this guy, he absolutely can. I have no problem with that. Uh, Mr. Giga, are you stuck? You are stuck. There you go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Tasty Rex. Mmm. That's a beautiful white Rex. I love white Rexes. I think they're gorgeous. Especially the eerie ones. Where is he going? He's just derping out, getting stuck on every rock in the world. Come on. You got it. There you go, buddy. There you go. Go. Um, alright, let's lead him this way. We gotta kill the beautiful Rex. It hurts my soul. I don't like it. Needs to be done. Sorry, RG. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's get this eerie giga back. Man, we got a couple of the rarest eerie spawns. Oh my god, I'm so excited. An eerie Mosa and an eerie Giga. That's like... That's the best, guys. Those are the things that are so, so hard to get eerie creatures of. And we did it. We did both of them today. <laughs> over the mountain and over the river. And through the woods we go. To my base. 
Alright, come on, buddy. You got it. You can do it. Follow the leader. Um, yes, guys, time for another code, and then we will have another code at the very end here. Sorry, chat, I got so distracted by this giga. It's so much effort and concentration put into these guys. There you go. Good luck with the code. <laughs> uh, bye, Celia. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, please name the giga Fancy Light. Ooh. It's actually not a terrible name for him. He is very bright. Very, very bright. Um, bye, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for hanging out. And can't request gigas. Yeah, that's why I'm leading him back to base, guys, is because you can't request them. Otherwise, trust me, I would not be wasting my time like this. Uh, sometimes I forget you can request, but not this time. This time it's literally just like I had to because Giga. It's fine. We're we're leading him back home. Everything will be okay. Come on, buddy. I gotta take him up the river here and through the woods. Come on. You got it, bud. You got it. Got to chop some trees for him so he can get through. There we go. Actually, this is probably not ideal. I should take him this way. So that we don't fall off a cliff and into the water. That would be bad. Oh, don't hit the iguanodon. I would be sad. There we go. There we go. Come on. We've almost got him home. Our little friend. Or little is relative, I suppose. Uh, come here, buddy. Come here. Perfect. No, we got it. Okay. Oh, my pair of gigas. Oh, it's beautiful. They're friends. They're buddies. They're gonna hang out now. You gotta can't see. There we go. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. That is such a good haul. I am so, so excited about these. Uh, Eerie Giga, Eerie Mosa. Oh, my God, it's good. Regular Mosa, too. Um... Morgan Ritter, uh, <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Morgan, happy birthday to you. There you go, Morgan. Um, can't tame the griffin. Uh, Barat, griffins are very difficult to tame. You have to have their respect. If the griffin doesn't say, doesn't say that it respects you, um, you won't be able to, um, to tame it. I will not kill it. I'll probably have to tame that one off stream, but I will tame it uh, tonight for sure. Oh my god, so excited, so excited. Oh my god, the lag is real. But it's totally worth it, guys. Look at that. Um, are we allowed to have turrets on the server? The best. Uh, the turrets are here to protect from wild creatures because I have had a Giga come into my base and destroy things when I've lived here in the past, so I have turrets, but... Um, Turrets are totally allowed because it's a PvE server, so they can't hurt other people anyway. And even if it was PvP, we would just have it be where they don't affect other players. And then it would be fine. Um, so excited, guys. So excited. That was actually perfect timing, too. Uh, that is the whole thing. You come back and see the Giga eating his buddy, right? Right? Oh, the frames. The frames hurt. Oh, the frames. There we go. I'll just look away from my base and it'll be fine. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He looks so quizzical. I love it. Um, okay, guys. So, I think, guys, that is actually the stream. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here, pretty much. Um, let's go ahead and drop the last code for you guys, because uh, everyone has been amazing for hanging out and helping me tame all these eeries. So, hopefully this works out for you guys. Um... For Griffin Tame, how much uh, kibble do you need? Barat, um, you need either like 30 to 50 aloe kibble 
or you need um, anywhere between one and four-ish griffin kibble if you're using a 15x bomb. And I do recommend you use a 15x bomb. Otherwise, griffins will take you literally days to tame. Very, very long tame. Good luck with the code, guys. Um, Joseph, congratulations for staying on the whole thing. Um, what server are we on? We are on Toast Kingdom 2.0. Yes, he says sing, Willow says sing. I just sang happy birthday. Doesn't that count? Uh, Cortez, thank you so much for hanging out, man. Uh, happy to have noticed you. And guys, please remember to hit the like button if you did enjoy the stream. Go ahead and do this real quick. Um, all right, guys. The real question. Did you guys want me to sing the cup song today before we end off? I'll just wait for that answer. Uh, Kenny, hello. Welcome. Use 10x bombs, they're easy to tame. 10x will work. Um, I just use 15x because they are faster. I know that it's more amber by far, but um, it does save you quite a bit of griffin kibble, and griffin kibble is expensive to make. Um, <laughs> Parker, you've been shouted out. Sana says sing. Uh, Jethro, yes, this is the end of the stream. I just posted the last giveaway code. So if you are leaving, guys, please remember to hit the like button on your way out. It really does help me out. And you can, of course, sub. All right, yes? Okay, guys. We'll go ahead and sing the cup song before we end off tonight. Um, so let me go ahead and mute the desktop audio so you guys don't hear the giga roaring in the background. Guys, if you don't enjoy hearing singing, now is the time to exit the stream. Again, like button, and you can subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday at 9.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for the drop of the new dungeon, which I'm really excited about. We'll have a new dungeon next week. Um as for the actual cup song, guys, I'll go ahead and sing that for you right now. All right, here we go. I got my ticket for the long way round. Two bottles of whiskey for the way. And I sure would like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss me by my talk. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I got my ticket for the long way round. The one with the prettiest of views. It's got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sights to give you shivers, but it sure would be prettier with you. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk, you're gonna miss me by my talk, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. It has been a fantastic stream. Uh, I feel so lucky that I have such a great community and everybody here. So, guys, um, yeah, if you did find yourself enjoying this one, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.